Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're doing another live stream today to get people connected directly to EDD through Claimer. Uh, we've been doing a couple of these live streams over the past few weeks, and they've been, been pretty successful. We're usually able to get out around 20 calls during a live stream, and uh, we're actually able to watch people get paid over the phone in certain cases if their claims are fairly easy to fix. Uh, we're getting people to actually connect with agents uh, through you know, EDD. Uh, we're coaching them through all of the requisite, you know, knowledge you guys need to have in terms of, you know, the disconnects that are occurring, how to talk to agents, what a tier one agent can do, what a tier two agent can do, and so on and so forth. So these are really valuable live streams. If you guys are interested in getting a call, um, you know, it's pretty straightforward. I put the instructions there in the description box. I just need you to email me at liveacclaimer.com. I need you to send a screenshot that you subscribe to the channel. I do this for my subscribers only. And then send me your name and your phone number, right? And then I start calling uh, using Claimer. I'm purchasing the calls myself. You guys will see this today. Uh, I'll be using my phone to do this. And uh, yeah, guys, like it's it's a way that I can you know give back. It's a way that I can help you guys get your claims uh, you know moving. And also we can talk about some issues that are kind of going on with your claims. So with that said, I'm going to take a look at a couple of the chats and let's get everybody some time to get jumped in here. All right? Cool. All right. Hey, Paul, I see you. Felipe, I see you. Thanks for joining, guys. Let me know how my audio is, please. It looks like it's coming through okay. Paul, I see you. Felipe, I see you. Cool. Robert? Um, Robert asks, good morning. Can you use Claimer on a landline? Um, you can. I would not recommend it. And here's why. Because what you guys are going to be getting today is I'm going to be purchasing Claimer, the whole package for you guys, right? And what that means specifically is Claimer gives you guys what are called callbacks. And the reason that you guys want those callbacks is that you need to be able to get past the disconnects, right? These disconnects can happen particularly early in the week. Um, this is where you'll be waiting on hold with EDD and they just drop the call. The problem with the landline is that you can't request the callbacks with Claimer if you don't have a phone that can send text messages because that's how Claimer does it, right? If you need a callback, you press yes in case you got disconnected or you spoke with a rep that didn't help you. Um, you can't do that with a landline. So Robert, keep that in mind. Um, Robert, also, I don't have you on my email list unless you're using a different name. So let me know if you want a callback. And if you do, I'll be checking my emails throughout the live stream, guys, and anyone else that's watching this. Um, if you guys aren't aware, I pinned a chat to the top of the chat box, and this is the instructions on how to get a callback, right? Just email me, send me a screenshot that you subscribed, give me your name, uh, give me your phone number so I can program it into Claimer. And then once Claimer, you know, actually gets a hold of EDD, they'll send that connection directly over to your phone. So that's how this works, guys. Um, we'll get into more details in just a sec. Let me catch up with the chats. All right, so who else do we have here? Hey, Felipe, of course, you're very welcome. Hey, Ivan, I think you were with us last live stream. I th yes, I'm pretty sure you were. Good to see you, Ivan. Okay, Aaron, pending no payments. Paul, audio is great. Thanks for the confirmation on that, Paul. You mad, no payment pending. Okay, yeah, guys, so um, let me just give you the list. The way that I do this is uh, I go in the order of emails first received. Uh, hopefully it makes it a little bit fair for people. And then what I need for you guys to do is if you've sent me an email, and perhaps you guys are in the live stream right now, what I need you guys to do is if you sent me an email, um, I need you to let me know like, hey, this is my name that I sent my email under. Because a lot of times your YouTube name isn't the same as what you sent me an email. So just for example, right, um, I'm looking for Roberta, uh, Felipe, no, Felipe, I have you, Courtney, I'm looking for, Nisha, and Delena. They emailed me over the weekend, but they may not be here right now. Um, so Aaron and Umod, uh, if you want a call to Claimer, I'm happy to do that. Um, you've got two people ahead of you. I need you to send me an email really quickly and let me know when you do that, okay? All right, guys, so if you, I'm, there's a few new people here that haven't seen how this works before. What I do really quickly is I give you guys some instructions on how this live stream is gonna roll and then we start getting the calls going and then we start kind of watching like how those calls are working for everyone, right? Um, these live streams are generally about two hours long. So if you guys don't have that time commitment, I understand, but that's how they, that's how long it takes. 
There's uh, a lot of information that I share in these live streams that really helps you guys get the information that you need in terms of how to deal with getting past the hold line, right? Because one thing the claimer does is it gets you into the actual hold line, but they have no control over what happens once you're on hold with EDD. And that's really where the critical aspect comes in. So I hope you guys will, you know, work with me throughout this live stream. I provide a ton of education. I teach you guys how to obviously, you know, use claimer to your benefit, how to use it strategically. I teach you why they give you so many callbacks and I teach you how to use those callbacks. Um, so this isn't a live stream that you just want to get your call and then jump off, right? Really, this is a call or this is a live stream where we're asking everyone to kind of chip in, right? I need your guys' feedback, right? I need you to tell me like, hey, I got my call back from Claimer. We want to find out how long that call back took, right? Because there's other people that are waiting. We're all trying to find this out because every day is a little bit different. We're trying to crowdsource this information as much as we possibly can so we can all share in the knowledge that we're all learning from this, right? Because your problem may very be very similar to what other people are having a problem with in their claim. And so if you're able to get it solved, we know that it's solvable by calling, right? So, you know, this is an interactive live stream. I ask that if you get a call, you're letting me know how things are going. You're letting me know that you got the text. You're letting me know that you got the callbacks. You're letting me know that you spoke to an agent. You're letting me know that you got disconnected. I mean, these are all important things. You're also letting, you know, when I say letting me, you're letting us know, right? What's going on with your claim? You've been pending for two weeks. You have an issue, you know, with verification, you know, whatever's going on. Like, and you don't have to, you know, share personal information, guys. It's just helping us kind of collectively crowdsource like what's going on with your claim and seeing if your information can help somebody else down the line, okay? All right, let me check out the chats here. Okay. Hey, Daniel, good to see you again. Uh, so Daniel writes, thanks for your help. My friend Carlos got his issue resolved on Friday. Hey, Daniel, that's fantastic. I'm happy that Carlos got that. Was he actually able to get paid or is he got the issue resolved, but he now needs to wait for you know another period of time? I'm kind of curious how that went. Um, Lionel, good to see you. Just sent an email to get a call back today. Hey, Lionel, perfect, man. Thanks for the help on the last live stream. If you can do the same on this live stream, kind of helping people, you know, they jump in and they, they're like, how do I get a call back? Any, any of you guys that have worked with me on my previous live streams, just, um, you know, help other people. I've put the, uh, chat, um, at the, at the top of the chat box, I put it pinned up there, like how to get a callback for me but if you guys can kind of help me out with that for those of you that have done the live streams with me before that'd be appreciative in terms of helping me moderate some of the comments okay ivan yes i'm back unfortunately they clicked on me when they transferred me to a second tier yeah for sure um so guys there's a whole lot of information for those of you that haven't been able to get through to edd or don't really know how the game is played um, that's why these live streams are super important. Uh, Ivan just brought up the fact that he was waiting on hold while they transferred him from a tier one who picks up first to a tier two, right? Who can, who's an actual EDD employee and he was, you know, uh, disconnected. And that, and those hold times are pretty long, especially on Mondays. So guys, there's a lot of things that you guys need to be aware of, right? And this is where I really encourage you to stick around for these live streams you know, and learn as much as you possibly can. So you guys are really prepared and you're not surprised. Okay. Um, Ivan, I'll definitely get you taken care of on another call. Alicia writes, God bless you. God bless you too, Alicia. Um, Alicia, if you want to call, um, please send me an email. Okay. I'll be checking emails in just a minute. Um, Angel. Hey, Angel. I think I helped you on the last live stream. If you need another call back and guys, I know you've emailed me before. Um, but I need you to email me again if you can, because there's people that have your same names. So Angel, if you want to call back, just send me another email this morning. Um, Ivan, I think I can find you, but, um, please actually, maybe I've got my list from yesterday, not yesterday from the last live stream. Yeah. Ivan, I think I have your number here. Um, but yeah, guys, like, please just send me an email. It makes my job a lot easier. Okay, cool. Let's see. Daniel writes, yep. Carlos got his pending paid. His issue was that they mix up his middle name, his first name is mixed up. <laughs> oh man. Daniel, uh, congrats, man. Have your friend, you know, happy for Carlos. Um, I'm glad the calling worked. Uh, thanks for joining the live stream for a little bit. Let me know if you need anything on your end. Um, I think you're waiting on something on your claim, but uh, if you need a call back, bud, I'm, I'm there for you. Um, Pam writes, pending for three weeks. Cool. Um, uh, well, Pam, let's see if we can get this fixed. Okay. Um, there's also a lot of really good news that came out, uh, last week with EDD. And I'm sure you guys have been kind of tracking this on, I think Jenny's been reporting on it in a fantastic way. Um, that EDD is now moving into what's called a pay it now approach. 
versus before, you know, they would go through all of these phone interviews and fraud identifications and yada, 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 which were taking weeks and weeks and weeks. Well, that's no longer going to be the case. So the good news is this. They've now reached a settlement. Okay, this is EDD, and this is all out over the news, and I'll be doing a video on this later today, that if you've received one payment in the past from EDD, just one week, now you may have received many more, but you need to receive one, one week of payment, and you have had two weeks of pending. So if you've been pending for two weeks, Pam, and you've received one payment in the past, you are eligible for what they're calling conditional payments. Okay. And what these conditional payments basically mean, and this will be done by, they're claiming by September 30th or sooner, that you will be paid without needing to do all the phone. I mean, you still have to do the phone interviews, but you'll be paid before that. So if you have a pending claim right now, if we can't get it fixed today on the phone, for those of you, um, we may very well see EDD start paying those claims out very quickly. So anyways, if you guys are curious about that, um, you know, check out my video. I'll do it a little, a little bit later today. All right, let's go back to the comments really quick. Paul writes, waiting on a PUC extension, no correspondence in over a month. Okay, yeah, Paul, this is a really good one to call on. Um, I would say, Paul, you may need to talk to a tier two rep, okay? So the first person that's gonna pick up, they may or may not be able to help you. Ask them to look at what's going on to your claim. And depending on who they are, if they're a tier one rep, which is usually a subcontractor, you may get lucky and get a tier two rep right off the bat, which is an EDD employee who can make a lot of changes to your claim. Um, but if you do get that tier one rep, you may need to be transferred over to a tier two rep. And guys, I'm just letting you know, if they transfer you, just so you're aware, the hold times can be fairly long, multiple hours potentially. So I suggest that you guys have some things you like to do, maybe clean up the house, so on and so forth. Um, and I also am letting you know that uh, these tier two agents can take, um, it, the, the disconnects can be, can, can be common, okay? And that's where claimer helps, right? These packages that I'm going to be sending to you to guys today, because I have your phone number, I'm buying these on your behalf. You guys will be able to call EDD 10 times, literally 10 times over the next 48 hours. So I'll teach you how to kind of use those callbacks and use those strategically. But these are a great resource, guys. I'm telling you, calling once generally doesn't get the job done because of the disconnects and because the agents sometimes don't have the relevant skill sets right, to help you. So you may need to actually wait for a tier two rep to help you, but then you get disconnected. Well, what do you do in that case? You don't give up, right? You use the callbacks and you, and you get back in line and you keep trying, you keep trying. This whole thing is about persistency, about getting your claim benefits and the phone system totally works. Okay, um, Richard Park, sent email. Give me an EDD connection, please. Um, yeah, Richard, I think I saw your email. I'll double check that in just a couple seconds. RS writes, four weeks pending, one appeal a month ago, but EDD is not paid as the ALJ ordered. Very interesting. Yeah, I had that situation go on with my claim in Nevada. Um, I think we ought to get you called. Hey, RS, if you have emailed me, I need you to, I don't recognize your name, RS. Um, so if you wouldn't mind, tell me, RS, who you are, like what your name was when you emailed me, that'd be helpful. Um, Victor, hey, Victor, good to see you again. Paul will need to ask the tier two rep to add the extensions to the claim manually. Yeah, guys, so uh, Victor is a fantastic resource. Um, he may be able to jump in and answer some questions on the live stream. Uh, appreciate you, Victor, for being here. Um, Paul, looks like that's directly to you. You'll need to have the tier two rep um, add the extension to the claim manually, okay? All right, Lionel, Nick will help you get you guys connected if you haven't been able to speak to anyone. I haven't been able to reach anyone until I found him in his services. Cool. Uh, Latrice asks, are Claimer in Alabama? Latrice, no, we're not in Alabama. Um, no, they're currently, from what I understand, they're in uh, Arizona, Georgia, Texas, and Florida. So, but primarily focused on California, okay? All right, guys, I wanna get these calls going. I'm gonna double check the emails because I've only got two people that are like verified here. Um, before I do that again, if you guys want a callback, okay? Follow the instructions that are on the top of the chat box. I've pinned the message up there. If you want to call back to EDD because your claim is pending or you have stopped payments, please email me. Just email me a screenshot that you subscribe to the channel. Just give me your name and give me your phone number, okay? And then I'll call you guys out and we'll verify that you're in the chat box and we'll get you these calls going, okay? All right, so that's the introduction to the live stream. What I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to jump over to my other screen here so I can verify everybody's phone numbers. And yeah, we'll get this going. All right, so I have an email from, okay, a bunch of people came in. Paul, I've got you there. Ivan, 
Thank you, Ivan, for re-emailing me. And guys, while I'm doing this, I'm literally writing this down, you know, pen and paper. So just be patient. Lionel, thank you for emailing me again. Hey, Lionel, um, I'm sorry. What's going on with your claim, man? Um, just curious. I mean, I'm sure you have, you know, some type of, you know, pending issue, but I was curious as to what exactly is, uh, is going on. And I'm sorry if you've already updated me on this, but it was the weekend. So, all right. I see you here, Pam. I'm just getting your phone number really quick. Well, I have Elisa. And if you guys have any questions, I will be trying to keep up with the live chats as much as I can. Um, it gets a little difficult in terms of multitasking because as you can see, sometimes I need to write down emails. Other times I need to, um, other times I need to, uh, you know, set up the the claimer, you know, connections for you that I'm purchasing. So just be patient, okay? If if I didn't answer your question, um, just repost it again, okay? Just you know, keep just help me out there. All right, Richard, I see your contact. Thanks for checking in. And yeah, guys, like, um, I'm really encouraging you to. really kind of pay attention to what I'm talking about when I talk about the disconnects and I'm talking about like tier one and tier two agents. These are really important things that you guys need to be aware of. Also the hold times, you know, um, I think a lot of people, unfortunately, because so many people haven't been able to get through to EDD, they have no idea what it's like on the other side once you're on hold with these guys. And, you know, I'll just say in general, like we've seen this before, uh, Mondays are pretty busy days to reach EDD. Um, hold times can be pretty long. Um, and again, that's not an, uh, uh, an issue that Claimer can control. Uh, this is actually, you guys are on EDD's phone line systems. And so they only have so many agents that are answering so many calls at such a rate. So the hold times are generally higher earlier in the week. That doesn't mean you can't get through. It just means you need to be aware that the time might be longer. And also the disconnects seem to be a little bit higher. So you could be waiting on hold and you could get, you could get dis disconnected after waiting for a number of hours. So don't get frustrated at that, right? That's where, again, you know, the tips that I'm going to share with you in terms of, you know, scheduling the callbacks with Claimer, learning how to use those free callbacks that they give you, those are hugely important, okay, over the next 48 hours, all right? So we'll get into that. Okay, so look, I've got the initial list here. We're going to start off calling uh, Paul. You're going to be first, followed by Felipe, then Ivan, Lionel, Pam, Elisa, and Richard, okay? Those are the first set of calls we'll get out, and let's get those fired up because it's going to take some time. Um, before I do that, I just want to catch up on chats. Paul, you're welcome. Angel writes, if I'm in need of a phone interview, can I still get the conditional payment? Yes, Angel, that is absolutely 100% um, correct. Guys, if you're waiting for a phone interview, the conditional payment process that's being rolled up by EDD now, starting last, uh, I think it was Friday on the 23rd, you will be eligible for that. Again, you have to have one week that you've been paid, two weeks that you've been pending, and you will fall under this category that they will pay you. And this means your entire claim. Right, like anything that's back pay and anything you know to get you caught up to current, and they'll begin to pay you on your weekly basis. But they're doing those in batches, Angel. Um, I still personally recommend that if your claim is pending, we don't. When I say they're doing it in batches, we don't know when they're going to get all these done. Um, they supposedly are needing to get done by September 30th, but I personally think that again, you know, being proactive instead of waiting for EDD is a better way to approach this. Um, just to get these payments moving quicker. And that's why I think calling is one of your most effective ways aside from contacting your assemblyman, which completely changed. And guys, I'm gonna just leave it at that. Uh, if you have not contacted your assemblyman recently, there's 80 of them in California. They now have two EDD staffers working in their offices right now. I highly suggest you contact them today. If you don't get paid over the phone over the next two days using you know this calling service that we're setting up for you, I highly recommend that you contact your assemblyman right away because we're seeing fantastic results 
from those EDD staffers working in the assemblyman office, okay? So guys, just realize, like, hit them from all the angles. Call. Contact your assemblyman. Like, wait for this new conditional payments thing to come out, right? There's a lot of good news that are happening, that is happening in the EDD space. You need to be aware of it, but you also need to be proactive, okay? All right, what else do we have? Pam, I got your email. Latrice, you're welcome. Okay, yeah, Pam looks like you'll be good to go. Angel, yeah, and by the way, Angel, if you want to call, um, let me know. Lionel writes, they said I needed to make a new claim, which I already made one in June. So I just need to clarify if they got it and I filed another claim on six weeks pending. Cool. Yeah, Lionel, sounds good. Um, I think you're making the right approach here. I personally, this is my recommendation. If your claim is pending and you're not seeing traction on your claim every you know, three days, three business days or less, or you can do two business days. Someone tells you something, they say, oh, just it should be done. Right, just give it 48 hours or 24 hours. If you don't see claims traction in 24, sorry, in 48 hours, two to three business days, I recommend that you call again. I really do. Um, I think a lot of times these agents, they kind of tell you some things potentially to get you off the phone. Um, maybe they just don't have the skills or training to fix, you know, what they say they're gonna fix. So this is why I recommend that you call in Lionel. I like your approach. Felipe writes, mine's about 19 weeks pending with an appeal status. Was waiting for appeal hearing for about four months, finally won it in January, but still waiting for payment six months later. Yeah, Felipe, this is huge. So if you've won your appeal, you had the, yeah, gosh, you're the same problem I had in Nevada. Um, yeah, you definitely need to call. Okay, guys, let's get these calls going. It is 1022 and let's get this fired up. So guys, what I'm gonna be doing when I'm looking down, I literally have my phone, okay? And I'm putting this up on the screen, on a screen share. Um, I'm gonna be dialing this directly. Uh, let's go ahead and get this started. So. I'm going to claimer.com, right? Super simple. And Paul, you're up first. So I'm going to put in the number here. And this is going to be a callback that's going to go directly to Paul's number. So I'm going to need to select California. I'm going to press the pay now button. And I'm going to enter in my name just because I'm purchasing the calls today. And then let's see, let's do this. I'm just going to put in my email. And then I'm gonna put in, I just have a prepaid Visa card, guys, so um, not too worried about anybody taking it. But yeah, um, drop in the prepaid Visa card, and then get all this done. Let's see, receive, send it to, okay. We drop all that in. Cool. Paul, you see how easy that was? That took me like all of what? A minute and a half. Uh, Paul, so you are our first uh, call connection that we're setting up today. You're going to be receiving a call back from 800 300 5616. What I need you, Paul, to do, and everyone else that gets a connection today, is I need you, Paul, to immediately tell me, hey, I got the text message, the text message from Claimer, because this tells you and I that we programmed your number correctly. I may have, you know, wrote it down incorrectly, I may have typed it in wrong whatever. Let me know you got that text message, okay? And the next thing you're going to need to do is you need to keep your phone on you, all right? Your phone needs to be on you because the claimer is literally now calling right now, EDD, getting through those busy phone lines. And once they get that connection, they're going to call you back. So stay on the live stream, please. And this goes for everyone. If you're waiting for a callback, stay in the live stream and tell us, hey, I just got my call back from EDD and I'm on hold because that's what's going to happen next. You're going to get the call back and you're going to be on hold. Let us know how long that callback time is between, you know, when we place the order and then, you know, what it, yeah, when, when you guys are actually on hold with EDD. Those are really valuable pieces of information because we need to let everyone else know like how long these are taking, okay? All right, Paul, congrats. Let's get the next one set up here. Hi, Terry. Hi, Nicholas. You were kind enough to register me on a claimer week or so ago. A tier one rep told me a tier two specialist would call me back, no callback. Um, Terry, I think that's a great example of a situation that I just covered, right? Where a tier one rep told me a tier two specialist would call me back, but haven't received a call back yet. That's a perfect example of my point that if you're not seeing claims traction every two to three days, even after you talk to someone that says, hey, we're working on this, I think you ought to try and call. I really do. Um, I think this is a game of persistence. So Terry, look, if you want another connection today, um, we're actually in a better spot. Claimer's now doing 10 callbacks. I think the last time we did a live stream with you, they're doing five in 48 hours. So if you want another callback, Terry, 
please email me again. Um, it's going to be hard to find your email. Um, I appreciate you've contacted your assembly member, but Colin could help too today. Um, if you want those callbacks, Terry, please let me know. All right, let's get the next call going. Paul, thank you for confirming that you got the text, okay? I appreciate it very much. All right, so Felipe, you're up next. Happy Monday, everyone. Hope everyone had a good weekend. All right, so we just go through, we select the state. I come through, I drop my personal info here. Very cool. And yeah, guys, I noticed we've got quite a number of people that are in the live stream. Um, look, if you guys want or having issues with your EDD claim and you want a free callback from uh, Claimer today, I'm buying those connections. I'm happy to set them up. So please email me. The instructions are at the top of the chat box. Or if you're not sure how to get it, just jump into the chat and uh, ask. We've got a few people here that have gotten the uh, callbacks before and they're happy to help out. And if you guys just want to chat, watch the live stream, that's totally fine too. Okay, let's see if we can, oop, wrong. Cool. Hey, Felipe, hope you're still on, okay? You've got a callback coming to you, all right? So that callback's coming from 800-300-5616. Please let me know, Felipe, that you uh, got that text message, okay? RS is for Roberto. I just emailed before the live stream started and again just now. Okay, RS, thank you so much. Um, I do know that you emailed uh, actually very early this morning. I'm going to be putting, yeah, I, I've got your contact info. Just give me a second. We're going to be getting you going here in just a minute, okay? Thank you, Felipe, for confirming you got the text. I appreciate that. Okay, Ivan, you're up now. And the reason I'm trying to get as many of these calls out guys right now is because the hold times are generally going, well, Mondays again are very busy uh, to contact EDD. So I wanna get these, these calls out as fast as I can and then I'll do more talking once we get the calls out um, and giving you guys more you know, kind of inside tips uh, because it's gonna take claimers some time to reach uh, uh, EDD today. Um, hopefully it's not, you know, super long, but it wouldn't surprise me if it takes up to, well, I mean, the text messages that I see from Claimer is that, you know, they say it takes up to one to two hours to get a connection. Um, that might be the case today. I don't know. Um, that's why we do these live streams is kind of, you know, find out. Um, generally, it should not take that long today. I think I did a live stream last week and it was taking about 45 minutes on a Monday for Claimer to get a call back. Okay, and again, that's just the callback, guys. That doesn't mean that you actually are on the phone with an EDD agent. Uh, nobody can do that um, at this point. So you're, what you're trying to do is you're trying to use Claimer to get through the busy phone system, and then you've got to try and you know deal with all the, uh, you know, talking to a tier one rep, seeing if they can help you, and if they can't you know, contacting a uh, tier two rep and having them transfer you to. Okay, Ivan. You're all set up too. There's a success message that's coming over to you. All right, let's get the next one coming up here. Cool. Uh, Lionel, you're gonna be next. Quick chat, check. Danny writes, contacted my assembly person on Wednesday, got emailed back Thursday and connected with an EDD adjuster through the assembly person's office Friday. My issue was I had earned wages I didn't report. Okay, guys, I want you to pay attention to what Daniel just said there with regards to do you guys see how fast of a response that he got by contacting his assemblyman within three business days? He's actually on the phone with an EDD adjuster, which is a uh, you know fairly high level uh, a, you know EDD employee that can make serious changes onto your claim, including helping with phone interviews. So if you haven't contacted your assembly member uh, yet, I really encourage you to do that. Um, if this phone um, you know, option today does not work for you. Okay. And thank you, Daniel, for sharing that. I appreciate that. Chris writes, hi, I used all the 10 calls. All were disconnects and wasn't able to connect on Friday. Yeah. So Chris, thanks for joining again. Um, you, 
I'm sorry, man. Like I said, this disconnects can really happen to people. Um, it's, it's kind of a game, unfortunately. Um, that's why Claimer does the, the, the callbacks. Um, I, I totally hear you guys. Like the, the disconnects are really hard to deal with. Um, I personally think that's just part of the, 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 the sweat equity that you're going to have to put into this. Um, Chris, if you'd like another set of callbacks from Claimer today, just send me another email. Okay. Um, with your phone number and that way I'll, I'll get you another one connected. Thanks for joining. Thanks for giving me that feedback. You guys need to be aware that these, uh, callbacks or these disconnects on EDD side are a very real thing. Uh, sometimes you get through no problem. Other days it's, it's just, it's, it's hard. Um, I'm kind of surprised to hear you had as many disconnects that you did on Friday, Chris, but again, you know, it can really kind of happen to anybody. All right, Lionel, let me get your call pushed out here. But I think too, guys, like we're all in a pretty good space and place. I mean, as, as difficult as this whole EDD thing has been, um, the news about the assembly members really getting the help that they need to push things through very quickly, at least from the stance that they have it looks like edd staffers um working in their offices right now and that's been going on for about two weeks and we're seeing great results there i think also the other good news again probably the best news that we've seen and this is the first i've seen in the entire country um which is pretty pretty profound hey lionel real quick an update i got your phone programmed okay you're getting a call back too all right. So guys, again, please let me know that you've gotten those uh, text messages. Ivan, I need to hear from you. Lionel, let me know that you got the text message. This is just letting me know that you guys, uh, you know, have programmed the phone number incorrectly. All right. The next person on the list is going to be Pam. Let me check the chats here really quick. Uh, certified last night. Certified last night. Now payment is pending. What does that mean? Um, you know, that could be a lot of different things i would assume more than anything it's a system glitch of some type could be revolving around the it's possible it's revolving around the uh work uh search requirements possibly it's doubtful uh, it also could be potentially around the quarter review issue uh that's happened over the last couple of weeks it's possible but doubtful but if you went to pending guys you need to call edd that's just the answer so uh, if you'd like a call back, the, uh, the instructions are again at the top of the chat box and that's in a pinned message there. Awesome. Thank you, Lionel, for confirming you got the text. Uh, Daniel has a really good update here. What the adjuster wanted was a copy of my bank deposit statement for my former company and I realized it was my severance pay and vacation pay I didn't report. I'm hoping to speak to them again today. Yeah, so Daniel, that's awesome. Um, I think that there's a very, look, just because you didn't report the severance and vacation pay, you may not have known that was coming. Okay, um, you know, and, and that's and that, that's perfectly fine. It, it it may impact your um, your payments going back, you know, a certain you know distance time in, in in the past. But I don't think that's an issue that can't be overcome. Uh, I think by working directly with this adjuster, you're in good shape. It might take some time to get fixed, but you're well on your way. Um, that's my prognosis on this. Dan writes, my pleasure. I just hope you get your claim resolved. Thank you. Without your help, I wouldn't be able to get my, oh, known what my issue would have been and would have gave up. Yeah, um, for sure, Daniel. And I think that's a lot of things too, guys, is like calling isn't just about getting it fixed on the phone that particular moment. You literally are calling to find out information on like what's going on with your claim. And, you know, because EDD doesn't really, tell you much of anything of what's going on in your in your dashboard you know they just tell you you're pending um and you know i think calling is extremely beneficial to find out what's kind of going on but i think again by what daniel's talking about here and the lesson that i've learned is that you cannot listen to what one person says you need multiple people to confirm what's going on most of the time um and this is the problem with you know these all of the the um the unemployment systems across the country um what's going on is that you know they have a mix of people that are answering phones and some are very proficient and some are not very proficient 
And what I mean by proficient is they don't have the training, um, you know, requ required to really fix claims. Um, and so what they do is they throw, like in California, most of the tier one agents, they're subcontractors. They don't work for EDD. They work remote. Um, they work all over the country. And okay, hey, Pam, well, I've been chatting here. You've got a success. Okay, we've got you a callback coming. All right, so be on the lookout from 800 300 5616. So let's see, who's next? Elisa, you're gonna be next. Yeah, so the the thing with these these tier the, these these people that you call on the phone, generally speaking, the first line of defense that you know these unemployment agencies, particularly EDD, um, you know, they use subcontractors. And these subcontractors, you know, are basically there to help answer the easy questions, right? Like, how do I get access back into my account? You know, and certain pending issues they can definitely fix. Um, but for more technical issues, like, you know, wage verification issues like Daniel has, um, in my case, like appeals, I'm in appeals where I'm, where, where, where my claims at, um, you know, I need to talk to, you know, experts, right. And those usually take, and, and this is how it works in California. It usually takes me getting transferred to somebody up to a higher level. And so that's what I'm talking about, right? These tier one agents that you're gonna first most likely speak to, um, most of them can't fix complex problems um, or they don't know how to solve them in the first place, right? So, and they're not also EDD employees. So they don't have access to the systems, the whole nine yards, right? So this is where you may need to get transferred to a tier two specialist. Um, and that's really where it's important for you to understand, like when you talk to an agent, like, you know, ask them like, hey, what do you see is going on with my claim? you know, um, and write it down, guys, like you need to be writing this information down and finding out like if that agent tells you the same thing that the next agent does. Because again, if you don't know what's going on with your claim, every time you call, you're literally having another person uh, show up and look at your claim and they may read the information differently. Okay, Elisa, you're set up too. We've got your callback coming. All right. So keep an eye out for 800-300 five six one six okay checking up on chats audrey just sent an email you're welcome audrey i'll be checking emails in just a minute marissa same thing i'll check emails then um cool yeah so pam and elisa if you can let me know you've got your text that'd be great richard you're going to be up next i hope you're still hanging in there Paul, I appreciate you, uh, and Felipe, I appreciate you guys coming in early. Uh, keep me posted when uh, you get those callbacks from uh, Claimer, please. When that number 800, uh, 300 comes in, please. Uh, that's important so we kind of know like how long it's going to take everybody else to get their callbacks. All right, Richard, let's get your call set up here. And guys, well, again, what I'm doing is I'm programming in the phone numbers into my phone. So that's why I'm looking down. <laughs> All right, so I'm here at Claimer. I put in the phone number, I select the state, I press the call now button. I come over here and I'm just putting in my contact info because I'm purchasing these guys. All right. Com. cool. Hmm. Okay. Richard, hopefully this is going through for you now. Awesome. Okay, Richard, you're getting a call back too. Okay. All right. So keep an eye out for that. And Richard, please let me know that you got that text message. Okay. Uh, Roberta, I'm going to get your connection set up next, and then I'm going to go check the emails. Okay. So everybody that wants a phone call, please, if you're in the live stream, please email me uh, right now. Uh, again, the instructions to do that are at the top of the chat box. It's a pinned message. Please email me and I will get you a connection here today to Claimer, or sorry, to EDD from Claimer. All right, let's keep an eye on the chats really quick. 
Yeah, so this is a really important point that Daniel brings up. Guys, be courteous and kind. Ask the reps on the phone how their morning day is going. Kill them with kindness. Yeah, so that's a really key thing, guys. We see this every single time. And I, I want you guys to kind of just take a moment and think about the jobs that these agents are doing, right? They're taking hundreds of calls every day. Many of these people that are calling them are yelling at them. They're screaming at them. They're cursing at them. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's a very hard job to do day in and day out. So you can just imagine that a lot of these folks that are working there, they need a job just like anyone else. Um, yeah, they're a little tired, a little burned out. They may not be as kind as they were the first day they started. Right. Um, so keep that in mind, right. Daniel brings up this key point that the first thing you want to do when you're talking to these agents is first break the ice, build a relationship with them, ask them to Daniel's point, how's your day going? You know? Uh, the next thing I'd recommend is, you know, thank them right off the bat. If you can, you know, they may be all about business, but just, you know, they say name, social security number, and you say, hey, I just want to thank you for all the hard work that you do. I know that you take so many calls and I know that you help so many people. My name is so on and so on and so forth, your personal details. What's yours? Okay, break the ice a little bit and get their name. Address them by their name. It's really important, right? People respond better when you address them by their name, okay? So write it down. Like as soon as you hear it, be waiting for it, write it down because I know we all forget names really quickly. The next thing is this, don't inundate them with information. They know why you're calling. They know there's a problem with your claim, okay? You just say, hey, you know, there's something going on with my claim. I've been pending for a while. Could you take a look and tell me what you see? And you're very kind. You're not, you know, telling them, um, you know, a, a whole bunch of bad news and, and, and everything that's happened to you as a result of them not paying you, which I'm gonna be wrong is a very real and very important story. But when it comes to getting your claim fixed, it really helps these people just to have the time to actually look at what they're seeing on the page, okay, versus what you know, they're hearing from you, because they're going completely off of what they see on their page and what they see in your claim versus what you're telling them. So let them do their work. And when they have questions, they'll ask you, okay, and just be very, very polite. Okay. All right. Let me get this call set up for Roberta and then we will go back and check the emails. Yeah. I, I really think coming in and, you know, setting a, a, a bad example with them right off the bat in terms of like being aggressive or, and I don't think any of you guys are all that way, but I know some people are extremely and rightfully so, extremely frustrated with what's going on with their claims for so many you know, months. Um, and while your anger and frustration is totally valid, it's not helpful to the person that's trying to work on your claim, right? So just keep that in mind, right? Like, um, I like to think of it as, you know, how would you talk to your grandma on Sunday, right? Like, <laughs> you know, uh, yes, ma'am, but certainly address them by their name, yes, sir. Um, very factual, um, you know, and if you can, you know, yeah, try and build a relationship with them if, if you can, you know, um, it, 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 it makes a huge, huge difference. It makes a huge difference in the sense that they will do more than they normally would, um, because they like you, they will go to bat for you a little bit more. They will make sure that you get transferred to a tier two specialist. Sometimes that's hard to get. Um, you have to understand they don't want to transfer you to a tier two specialist if they don't think you need a tier two specialist. So keep all that in mind, right? Like if you build that good relationship with them, you know, they're a lot more inclined to, to help. Okay. All right, cool. RS, we've got you taken care of there too. Okay. That callback's coming from 800-300-5616. Okay. Felipe writes, I appreciate your help. Thank you. I've gotten the text waiting for the call. will keep me updated. Thank you very much, Felipe. I appreciate it. Um, Todd writes, good advice, Daniel. Thanks, Todd. Uh, let's see. Lisa writes, just received my text, Nick. Thank you so much for this again. You really helped me two weeks ago to get through. I just certified last night. So today it's impending in the past. Okay. It looks like your comment got caught off there. Elisa, you're totally welcome. Thanks for coming back. Um, happy to help for sure. Um, and like, like I said, guys, if you're having difficulty, just don't give up on calling, like, or at least try some other methods, right? Like contact your assemblyman. All right. I'm going to go jump over here to the emails where I've got to start pulling down the numbers. Um, 
One thing I do want to mention, though, for everyone that's already gotten a callback and for everybody that's waiting to get a callback, right? I'm kind of giving you guys like little pieces of information along the way. That's why it's important to stay on the live stream. If you, as soon as you get that callback from EDD, um, look, this isn't guaranteed to fix it, but it definitely seems to help. About every 10 minutes or so, press the number nine, okay? Just press the number nine and that beep, that, that tone that the phone sends, seems to trick EDD's phone system into letting it know that there's still a human there. And it seems to help with the disconnects. Now it doesn't work every single time. Chris, I'm sorry if you tried that and it didn't work for you 10 times, but it seems to work for some people. So I don't, I don't, you know, I recommend that you guys try anything, right? It can't hurt. Um, the other thing I want you guys to be very, very cognizant of is this. Um, they have a leave a message feature when you get the call back from EDD, they will ask, you know, instead of waiting, do you want to leave a message and EDD will call you back? Um, you know, uh, we, we've gotten some conflicting reports that it works and that it doesn't work. Um, I know Victor, he was on the live stream earlier. He was saying that it does work. My personal recommendation is as follows. If you don't have the time to stay on hold for up to an hour, uh, or longer, then I recommend that you use the leave a message function. Otherwise, stay on the line. That is your best way to you know, get through, uh, in my opinion, and I may be wrong, but that's my opinion. If I'm, when I'm on hold with, with, <laughs> with EDD or any uh, you know, customer service rep, I stay on hold because I fought really hard to get that connection. So I don't really trust the leave a message. I just know how many people um, you know, they're trying to service on a daily basis. And I don't trust how often they call people back. I've seen that not work very often, okay? All right, so with that said, we covered right the tier one Reps or subcontractors, they may be able to help with basic claim issues, particularly with the quarter review. They should be able to fix that. Um, for more complex claim issues, such as Daniel's, where he had a wage issue, um, he needed to talk to, you know, effectively tier two or what's called an adjuster. Um, you know, and, and that's definitely where you have to talk to a tier one rep to be transferred to a tier two rep or an adjuster, right? And there's a lot of disconnects between those transfers and there's a lot of hold time between those transfers. So keep that in mind, okay guys? If that happens to you, don't be disheartened, all right? I'll teach you guys, excuse me, I'll teach you guys in a little bit about how Claimer helps you guys get back in queue, all right? With the 10 callbacks that you guys are getting, right? So if you get disconnected, please let me know in the chat box over the course of the live stream and we'll certainly help you out with that, okay? All right, let's get some more calls going here. What I'm going to be doing now, again, is just going through the email list of people that have emailed me and I write down their phone numbers, okay? Cool. So, all right. So I've got Leslie. Leslie, if you're in the chat box, sorry, if you're in the live stream, please, um, your, guys, and that's the other thing too, your YouTube name might be different than the name that you email me with. Um, please just put your name in the chat box so I know that you're here. So Leslie, I've got an email from you. And I really appreciate everybody helping me out with, you know, sending the screenshots that you subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the spam I found. Um, and also, again, we build a relationship, right? Like I recognize you guys from the comments on the channel um, and it helps grow the channel. So I appreciate you guys sending those screenshots over. All right, so we have Teresa. Teresa, um, I don't know if I've helped you before. If I have, I'm, I'm happy for that. Can you let me know in the chat box that you've sent me an email? I'm looking for Teresa. So I, ha I don't think I've seen you yet uh, comment in the chat box. Okay, we've got Audrey. Audrey, if you could double check into the chat box, please, on the live stream, that'd be very helpful. Okay, I've got Angel. Nice, we've got a whole bunch of people that just came in that want callbacks, so we've got a nice big fat stack here, guys. So Angel, Angel, I've seen you in the chat. Thank you for checking in. Guys, I appreciate your patience. I'm literally writing these down um, by hand. All right, I've got Chris.
I've got a Chris F. Um, I know there's a Chris C in the um, the chat. I don't know if that's the same as the Chris F that I've got an email from. But anyways, I'm looking for Chris F. All right, the next person we're looking for is Bo. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Uh, it says Bo for Marissa. So Bo or Marissa, please check into the chat uh, box. Just let me know that you're here. Cool. I've got a Vance. Vance, let's see here. Did you give me your phone number? Yes, you did. Vance, can you please check in to the chat box? Just write a quick message. Hey, Vance, I'm here. That's all I need, guys. Just quick, quick check in. All right. I've got one from Imgard, and I apologize if I'm pronouncing anyone's names incorrectly. Almost there. We've got one from Liana. She's got a question about call dropping. I'm already on hold. Yeah, Liana, if you're on the live stream, she has a question. Uh, if, uh, do I know of any way to avoid call dropping? I've been getting calls with you all since Wednesday and I keep getting them dropped before getting uh, to a specialist 15 times so far. Yeah. Um, so guys, this is just an email that I'm reading here from uh, Liana. Yeah, um, this is uh, this is really tough, guys. Like my personal recommendation is this: the drop calls kind of comes and goes in waves. Okay, um, unfortunately, like you know, EDD is completely responsible for those items. There's a comment I was reading that on Friday last week, and this actually came from a rep that worked for EDD. This is a comment I think that was in Facebook. On Friday, they had 360 tier two agents and there were 2,560 people on hold. And that's on a Friday. I guarantee you on a Monday, it's more people. Uh, my personal recommendation is this, is that if you're calling, I recommend that we, you know, call a little bit later in the week. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't get through earlier in the week, but I just recommend you call a little bit later in the week. I also recommend that you call either first thing in the morning or a little bit later in the afternoon. And that's where, guys, these callbacks really come in handy. You can strategically use these callbacks to place calls when the best odds of reaching somebody are and and by therefore reducing the amount of disconnections that you have okay um, that's a little bit more advanced strategy we'll get into that but that's my comment on the disconnections and you guys are seeing this right like people are are getting disconnected 10 to 15 times like this is crazy right on one hand but there are many people that do um not get disconnected so it's just kind of a game all right and it's just a mindset it drives you nuts but it's a mindset you've got to have all right I'm just getting the last here of these numbers. All right, I've got a Mary. Mary, if you can please check into the chat. I'm almost done with emails here, guys. Appreciate your patience. And I think that's the other thing too, speaking of patience, right? Like it's one thing to be patient on the live stream with me. It's a whole other thing to be patient about what I'm talking about with regards to, you know, oh my gosh, I got through to EDD. I'm so excited. Um, you know, I just got the lottery ticket. And it's like, well, that's literally just a third of the battle. Battle. The next third of the battle is getting past the disconnects and actually reaching an agent, you know? Um, the next third of that battle is like, if you need to reach a tier two rep, you know, to fix a more advanced claim situation. So, you know, keep in mind, um, like, having patience and being persistent is pretty key here um you know and, and hopefully you know you guys have a little bit of, of extra time to be persistent um you know i mean i'll be i remember when i was calling nevada eat you know nevada unemployment on my claim which guys i still haven't been paid so <laughs> like i know you're paying um, i'm on 72 weeks and have not been paid um 
I would be sitting there, you know, like, well, first I clean my house. I just put my phone, you know, in my, in my shirt pocket here and just walked around and clean up my house. Well, after my house was incredibly clean after like 10 hours of being on hold, then I just started like putting it on my, you know, phone or my phone on my shoulder. And I would just watch, you know, some TV and just chill out. Cause I mean, my house was clean. There's nothing else I could really do. And I had to keep an eye on this, but I also, you know, was going bored out of my mind. Right. So I'd listen to some TV while I was waiting. Um, that's, you know, it's not ideal, but it's certainly an option. And that's what I'm talking about, having that patience, right? The patience to be on hold, the patience to deal with the disconnects. And, you know, if you guys like have a bad moment where, you know, you've been on hold for a couple hours and they hang up, like, don't worry about it. Like, don't call back that that day. Um, you know, these callbacks that I'm getting you guys connected with right now, these are good for 48 hours. So you have today, tomorrow, and all of Wednesday to get these callbacks. So, you know, you got some, you've got some time. Okay, cool. Let me just go back over this. So Mary, Ricky, and, and I apologize, I'm going to mispronounce this. I believe it's Shaquela. Sorry, if I got that wrong. Um, and Christy, please check into the chat box. I'm all caught up on emails. I'm jumping back over here to the live stream. And I need everybody to kind of catch it. <laughs> Mike D says, hit that like button, everyone. Yeah, that's the other thing too, guys. Like, help me out. Like, you know, um, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, leave me comments. Like, it help, it helps my channel. Um, you know, I, it, it really does. It helps get the information out there. Um, this is what I do. This is my job. I don't have any ulterior motive. Like, I'm literally just here to help people get unemployment issues fixed. Um, helping me build the channel obviously helps me. Um, yeah, and it helps everyone else get the information out quicker. So appreciate that. Okay, let me catch up here. Okay, Teresa, Teresa TRL Vance. Guys, I'm just catching up on chats and then we'll start calling. All right, Audrey, Audrey, okay, I've got you. Lisa, Linda, how do I take a screenshot that I am subscribed? Um, hey, Linda, if you don't know how to take a screenshot, it depends on what type of, if you have a phone or if you have a laptop, but you just, you just need to take a picture um, that you're subscribed. Like maybe just look that up on Google or something like that. Um, you know, it should, shouldn't be too hard for you. Um, RS just received my text. Thanks, Nick. You're welcome, RS, of course. All right, Liana writes, do you have any other tips on not getting call dropped? I was just dropped my 15th call. Hey, so Liana, thank you for writing in that chat. I'm just catching up. Um, I hope I addressed your email earlier. I don't have a great way of doing this other than when you strategically use, you know, claimer or you're calling by yourself to get through. Um, when you when you use that. So, you know, my personal thoughts are, again, on this, Liana, if you're getting a lot of drop calls, um, I personally think, unfortunately, it's like, you know, use, pr press a number nine every, you know, 10 minutes or so. The other thing is, is when you call it makes a huge difference. Um, although I am surprised, I did have some feedback from another person that was uh, helping on the live stream on Friday. They got 10 callbacks and apparently none of them went through. That seems kind of unusual for a Friday, but um, Monday and Wednesday, Monday through Wednesday are generally the busiest days for EDD. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday are less people calling to a degree. Sunday seem to be a little bit busier because that's when people are certifying. Um, but I would say, you know, Thursday through Saturday should be a little bit better. Um, those are my recommendations. Okay, we're getting going. Donk the clown, 22. <laughs> All right, Mike. All right, Vance, I see you here. Good deal. Uh, RS writes, the call dropping is totally random. Sounds like it's happening more than usual lately. Yeah, guys, so it comes and goes in waves. Like sometimes it's not that big of an issue and other weeks it just is worse. So, you know, it's 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 it's, it's a game, um, unfortunately. All right. Teresa writes, just sent a few minutes ago. Daniel, share this with your friends and family. This really works and helps. Yeah, guys, it's the other thing. So I'm going to be doing live streams. Um, I think I'm going to do one... My goal would be to do one every day this week. <laughs> uh, when I say this week, like Monday through Friday, I gotta have some time off, uh, take care of things around the house on the weekends. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do one every day this week. So if you guys don't get through today, um, you guys will still have those callbacks, but you could join the live stream and say, hey, I got a callback, I've got some questions. You could join the live stream then. Um, but yeah, let your friends and family know for sure. Happy to help. 
Um, Chris C, same person. Okay, Chris, thank you. <laughs> All right, Linda just sent the email. Hope that's what you want. Um, yeah, Linda, we'll get you taken care of. Hang tight. Uh, Vance, Audrey. Okay, Kililo, the rapper. I just sent an email. Yep, I've got you. Marissa, I've got you. Oh, BOE from Marissa. Got it. Hang tight here. Okay. M guard. Hi, M guard. M guard. Thought I had you written down here somewhere. There you are. M guard. I've got you. Okay. Cool. Um. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm, what I'm doing through is I'm checking to make sure the folks that emailed me are still in the live stream. Just bear with me. Um, Carrie Chamberlain writes, gets disconnected every time. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. This happens for sure. Uh, EDD's phone system will disconnect you if there's too many people that are you know in the system. Um, so it's one thing to actually get through the system. It's another thing to actually reach an agent, right? There's all sorts of little hurdles that you've got to get through. Um, okay, thanks, RS, for helping Vance out. Uh, Vance, I've actually got you, so you'll be getting a call back. Uh, Chris, you're getting a call back. Angel, you're getting a call back. Audrey, Teresa, Leslie, Leslie, I don't see you in the channel so far. Maybe you're here. Just can you please check in? So I'm looking for Leslie. Uh, Liana, I think I've got, no, Liana, I don't think you, Liana, if you need another callback since you've already been using Claimer yourself, please, um, Either join the next live stream. I don't want you, you know, to keep suffering. Like, just just let me know if you're having any trouble getting through. Um, I'll, I'll I'll keep setting you up with some calls here. Okay. Um, I'm looking for Mary. I've got uh, Kililo, the rapper. I've got you and Christy. Yep, Angel. I see you. Yeah, guys, I know Liana writes, thank you so much for the extra detail on my question, Nick. This has been discouraging, but Claimer makes it so much easier to bear. Yeah, so guys, this is, it, it's it's discouraging because you guys don't have the information that you need. You know, it's like, okay, now you guys are finding out like, oh, cool, like, you know, this Claimer works, but then there's all this discouragement about like, oh, Claimer doesn't actually get me connected to an agent, right? Like there's all these hoops that you've got to try and jump through. And yeah, that is discouraging. But once you kind of know, like, like that's how the game is played, you know, and you know that, okay, like, hey, these live streams, I can, you know, potentially get another call um, or maybe I'll use Claimer myself or whatever you guys choose to do, right? Like, you know, plus all the good news that's coming out about the assemblymen, what's also coming out about EDD paying people, um, you know, instead of mating, making people wait, like there's a lot of good news here that's coming up, okay? And I'm, I'm really sorry it's been so discouraging for so many, well, over a year now. Um, but it's gonna get better, guys, it will. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get going here with calls. So let's just go ahead and rifle this off. I'm gonna double check. Leslie, do I see you here? Okay, Liana writes, no call for me today. I'm gonna try in the morning. Okay, Liana, thank you so much for joining. Um, feel free to stick around, but let me know if, yeah, let me know if uh, you need any help. Okay, I'm still looking. Okay, Christy, Christy's here, got it. Um, I'm still looking for Ricky and Mary. Mary, okay, Mary, I've got you there. Okay, guys, um, really quick, got an update. So Paul got a call, he's on hold, music sucks. <laughs> yeah, the music does suck. So guys, this is important news, right? This is Paul, he got our first call today. He's on hold with EDD. Um, looks like that took about 40 minutes, okay? So this is gonna take 40 minutes or so, maybe a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit more, to have Claimer call you back, all right? That's the hold time, not the hold time, that's the wait time that's taking for Claimer to get through on a Monday, okay? So guys, that's important news to you know keep you, keep you priced. All right. Very cool. Hang tight, guys. I might have lost audio here.
Hey, can you guys um, give me a confirmation if my video has dropped? I'm getting an error on my side, and I don't know if uh, this is coming through for you guys. Do you guys still have my video, please? Someone give me an audio and video check. Okay, Daniel writes, nope, I'm good. Hey, for anyone on the chat, uh, in the chat box, thank you, Daniel, for confirming that. Please let me know. On my side, it looks like there's an error that's occurred. Um, but if it's good to go, we're good to go. Just let me know if the video drops out. It looks like the chat's still functioning. I just want to make sure this live stream is still functional. Okay, cool. Let's get going with some calls, guys. So here's the list. Thanks, everyone, for confirming that. All right, so... I didn't actually hear back from Leslie, but I may have missed you. And Leslie, if you're here, we'll catch up in just a bit. So the list of calls is going to go like this. So I've got Teresa, Audrey, Angel, Chris, uh, Marissa, Vance, Imgard, Mary, uh, Chiquila, Chiquila. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. And Christy. Cool. Let's get some calls going, guys. All right. And guys, for those of you that are going to get these calls, please let me know in the chat comments here that you've gotten a text from Claimer. That's really important. If you don't get the text from Claimer, it's likely that I wrote the number down wrong or maybe put it in incorrectly into the actual uh, Claimer itself. So keep that in mind, please. Let me know when that text comes through. All right. So let's get uh, Teresa set up here first. All right. Yeah, I wish I had a faster way of doing this, guys, um, besides, you know, just manually coming in to use Claimer. You guys see it's actually pretty quick to use Claimer yourself, but obviously when we're trying to push out a lot of calls like this, it's a little bit slow. And I do apologize for that delay on my side. I can only type as fast as I can. Um, you know, I think the thing to realize here is um you know calling edd on these live streams it really provides a ton of information particularly the people on the live streams um, i certainly don't expect people to watch these live streams after you know they're published necessarily but for the people that are on the live streams by you guys giving this feedback like hey i got the text we're verifying that claimer works for you which is important we're also verifying like how long the hold times are. Cause I think a lot of people are confused. They're like, Oh, if I use claimer, um, it's not going to, or I should get a call right away. So these are all these like things that you need to find out about. Hey, really quick. Um, Teresa, we've got a call back for you. Congrats, Ivan. You're the second person that's confirmed that you've gotten a call. I haven't heard back from Felipe yet, but it looks like Ivan, you've gotten a call back from EDD. Um, I'm assuming you're on hold, so stay on hold. Um, you know, please make sure that you're, you know, pressing nine. Hopefully that helps you. Um, yeah, keep us posted. Let us know like, uh, you and Paul, when you guys are reaching agents. Okay. So that means that Lionel, Pam and Elisa and Richard, you guys should be getting your calls very soon. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next call. And this is going to be for Audrey. Felipe writes, just got a call, but was too excited and accidentally pushed the answer button twice. So I clicked, but totally my fault. Okay, so Felipe, <laughs> yeah, man, I hear you. Um, no worries, right? So if you look at your text messages, you should have just gotten one after that call hung up. And in that text message, you should see something in there that states, claimer provides callbacks up to, I think, 48 hours. If you want a callback, press yes, or sorry, reply yes. So all you need to do, Felipe, to get a callback today is you reply Y-E-S, 
back to that text and claimer they're not going to tell you anything from what i've seen they're just going to start calling again so literally like just like i'm setting up people's calls like manually claimer is going to call on your behalf in the background and you should be expecting a call back probably within like half an hour to 45 minutes just like this last one did and it'll be the same thing it's going to come through that 800 number um so hopefully this time you know you're, you're more prepared uh, and that's how the callbacks work right so you just press yes back to these text messages that they send you and you can order the calls that you need when you need them okay all right let's get this set up for you audrey okay felipe you did you just did that awesome linda writes am i not going to get a call yes linda you'll get a call for sure just be patient okay i've got to get through um about eight more phone calls and then i'll get to you okay i promise all right, Audrey, let's get you set up. Yeah, and for anybody that, again, wants a call, um, again, the instructions are up at the top of the chat box. And, you know, please feel free to email me. I'm happy to get you guys set up with a connection to EDD today. Awesome, Lionel just writes, he just got his call back. Okay, so you guys, we're all seeing this, right? Like depending on when we place the call, the calls are going through roughly about the same point. So congrats, Lionel, I'm glad you're getting through. Thank you for letting me know um, that you got through. Um, if everybody will kind of follow their lead, as soon as the live stream's still going, you know, let us know what's going on. I generally do these live streams for about two to two and a half hours. Um, hopefully that's enough to get, you know, some people on hold. Uh, and then the question is, you know, how long is that hold time? So sometimes those times can be longer. Um, but yeah, I stick around. Um, so Lionel, if you got yours, Pam, Elisa, and Richard, you should be expecting yours very soon. Let's see what we got here. So I was just kind of curious on a side note. Um, like how many... <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll be the first to go. How many times have you called your unemployment uh, agency? So for me, and when I say call, I mean like calling myself. Um, in Nevada, I called, I think my record in a day was 84. And my, I think I called for a total of like, I think it was around 600 times before I finally um, gave up. Because in Nevada, Claimer doesn't work. Uh, there was no paid service at the time. Cool, real quick while I'm off on that little tangent. Um, Audrey, you're getting a call back, okay? Angel, you're coming up next. Uncle Nick, you're doing a great job. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan, appreciate it. Near 100 a day, yeah. Daniel writes, I called 200 times. I actually did the math on it in California. And I think the most a human could possibly call in a day, like with all, you know, you got to get through the navigate through the menus and all that kind of stuff to actually navigate through it long enough to find out if you're, you know, going to be on hold, or if they're going to hang up on you, um, was 232. So Dan, you pretty much hit the high water mark for the ability to call the most for sure. Um, 200 a day. I, I don't know how people kept their sanity. I really don't. All right, Angel, you're up next. Yeah. So guys, um, you know, while I'm punching in these calls, I, I just want you guys to have a little bit of confidence today. I know you're probably frustrated that, you know, these live streams, they take some time to get connected you know, by me putting the calls in, so on and so forth, and me kind of, you know, rambling along here. Um, but the good news that you guys need to be aware of, right, is that once you guys get this text from Claimer, um, because I'm purchasing these calls and I'm actually sending these to you, you guys actually have the full benefits of someone that, you know, bought Claimer themselves. And what's important about that is that you guys can schedule the callbacks that you need when you need them. And you're going to be able to get 10 callbacks using Claimer. So just like we're doing today on the live stream, you can just re request them yourself. Um, you'll be able to request those when you want them over the next 48 hours. So, you know, you're a little frustrated on time today. No worries. Um, you know, you guys will have tomorrow and Wednesday to use these calls. 
um, depending on when that timer kind of runs out, okay? So keep that in mind. I know Mondays are a little stressful for everybody. My day started off pretty, pretty rough. Okay, Angel, you are getting a connection. Okay. Chris, let's get you set up. Ryan sent you an email. Um, for sure, Ryan, I will be checking emails here. I've got about eight people I need to call first. Uh, I will be taking care of everyone that sends me an email. Mary, I see you. Um, yep, you're on my list. Okay, Audrey, thanks for confirming you received the text. You're so welcome. All right, so the next question uh, I have is how many of you, aside from Daniel, because I know you've already done this, how many of you have emailed or contacted or attempted to contact your assembly member? And there's no judgment if you haven't. I'm just curious, like, kind of what 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 the feedback's been, if you've done it, and if you have done it, I'm curious, like, what what's been the the feedback or the response? Have they helped you? Did you hear back from them? Did you not hear back from them? Guys, we're just trying to make some small chat while we're punching out these calls, okay? Okay, Paul's got an update here on his call. Uh, the rep transferred me to a tier two specialist, wait time greater than 30 minutes. Okay, so this is actually good news though. So Paul, thank you so much for that update. So guys, everyone, it's taking about 40 minutes, it looks like right now, to get a call back from Claimer. And Paul just got connected to an, a, a tier one representative who's now transferring him to a tier two specialist for his claim problem, okay? It took him about 30 minutes to, to get a hold of an agent, all right? So it's about an hour and 15 minutes right now, or a little bit less in order to talk to an agent, okay? So this is the generic timestamp. Um, Felipe and Ivan, Lionel, if you guys will kind of give us the same idea, like let us know if you got disconnected, let us know how long that wait time was, please. Just this is how the the live streams work. You guys, you know, jump back on the on the live chat and you let us know what's going on. Meanwhile, I furiously try and punch in as many phone numbers as I can as fast as I can. Yeah, and if you guys have any questions for me, um, I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Um, once we get through these phone numbers, we'll have a little bit more time to kind of chat freely. Um, the cool thing is, is that, you know, I'm balancing out these live streams between trying to get people connected, um, but at the same time, trying to give them enough information, right? Because just because you get connected to EDD doesn't mean you know what you need to do on the other side of that, right? So these are kind of, you know, partly is to get you guys connected. The other part of that is to um, make sure you guys know what to what to expect. Okay, Chris, we've got your connection set up. You're done. You should be getting a text. Please let me know. Um, okay, this is going to be for Marissa. Uh, thank you. I'm Ryan. Slice slick the slick the chief. He right, have an attempted contact an assembly member, kind of feel small like they won't answer me. Yeah, so I agree that would have happened in the past, but that changed about two weeks ago. So uh, guys, again, if you if you don't get your claim fixed over the phone this week, I recommend um, highly, I seriously highly recommend you contact your assembly member. They now have two EDD employees that are working in every single office and people are getting unbelievable results. I mean, like Daniel just came in and in three business days, like, He's on the phone talking to an adjuster. They're calling him back. I more or less may have some of these details right or wrong, but the point is, is that he's seeing great results. I'm seeing this all over online. I really recommend you contact your assemblymen because they do have the help now, okay? All right, so that being said, let's get on to Marissa. And like I said, guys, what I'm doing here is I'm actually, you know, checking in all these phone numbers into my phone. That's why I have to keep looking down. And you guys get to see the top of my head. <laughs> All right. Hey, 
Angel writes, hey man, when you type my number on Claimer, you accidentally put a five instead of a two. Okay, Angel, I will be setting up another call for you as soon as I get done. Okay, I appreciate you guys catching that, all right? Like, I'm fat fingering things, they happen. That's why I need you guys to let me know you got the text. Angel, thanks for this. I'll, uh, I'll get you a call back scheduled in just a sec. Linda writes, um, you might want to take down the live view of your cell phone on your video. It's showing your input information. Yeah, um, so I appreciate that point, Linda. Um, it's a totally valid one, but you know, I really don't have time to try and, because I, I, I try to do it originally to like, you know, protect my card information so people wouldn't steal it. And it was just such a pain to do it during a live stream because the, the claimer website's like moving around all the time. And I finally just got to a point, I'm like, look, if someone's going to steal money from a credit card from somebody that's like helping people with unemployment benefits on a live stream, um, I'm just going to say that's karma. <laughs> like, you know, go for it. Um, I am using a prepaid card, guys, so it's not like, you know, that much damage could be possibly had. Okay, so that was Marissa. You are done. I'm going to get a call set up here for Angel. Yeah, and I also generally, guys, like, there's been so much that's happened over the past, not just two years, but 10 years. Like, there's been so much that's really, like, happened in the world that has really, I think, caused people to not trust other people, you know, to not trust businesses, to trust whatever, right? Like, trust is a really hard thing. Um, and it's hard to have trust. <laughs> I get it. Um, I, I really do. But actually, let me double check that because this was for Angel. Hey, Angel, let me go back to your check here. You put a five in instead of a two. Angel, I'm going to go back and check your, your number here really quick. Just want to make sure I got your right phone number here. Hang on, guys. Hmm. 831-261-3561. Okay. All right, let's just try this again. Yeah, so in terms of going back to trust, right? Like, I... As hard as it is to probably have trust with even EDD, um, you know, I I guess I'm maybe I'm just a sucker for punishment. I just I really trust people. I really think people, given the right opportunity, will do the right thing most of the time. I think people want to do the right thing most of the time, if not all the time. So um, yeah, that's why like I'm not too worried about people taking my card information or my own personal information, which is also kind of funny because everybody's like, oh my gosh, you know, there's so many scams out there right now. And like, at least for me, um, like my information has been out on the dark web for or dark net, whatever you want to call it, like my social security number, my address, my birth date, a whole bunch of other stuff has been out there because my stuff was hacked and given out by Bank of America, by Experian, um, any number of places have been hacked, right? So my personal information is all over the web if someone wants to use it, including my social, my driver's license, the whole nine yards. And unfortunately, that's just the time that we live in right now. And <laughs> doesn't, doesn't make it right. Um, but, you know, I just... I definitely avoid scam situations for sure, but I also don't think that there's really that many out there. Um, or at least maybe I feel like they're easy to kind of keep an eye out for. Cool, Angel, I've got you another text message, or sorry, another call back. Hopefully that goes to you. Let me know if you got that text, okay? All right, let me get this next call set up. This is gonna be for Vance. I'll check the chats here really quick. All right. Uh... 
I called with the claimer. They told me I was under review. They put a request in to make the review go faster. They said it might take weeks before I get a payment. What do I do? Um, yeah, I think that's great advice from Daniel. I think you should contact your local assembly person right away. Okay, that's my personal reason. The other recommendation I have is after you hear back from your assembly member, um, I think you should consider, not do, consider calling multiple times, either using Claimer, well, yeah, basically like, you know, consider using Claimer multiple times and reaching a tier two or what's called an adjuster. It sounds like you need to get someone to take a look at your claim. Now, the other thing, again, guys, is that, you know, there's a lot of good news that came out this last week from EDD that they're going to be fixing. They're going to be paying people that have been pending for a long time. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah. All right. Daniel, Google local assemblyman, put in your zip code, and then assemblyman info will pop up. Daniel, thanks so much for helping out in the live stream, man. It really, really is helpful. And guys, like, really listen to what Daniel's talking about here in terms of how to contact your assembly member, okay? I also did a video on how to contact your assembly member. Uh, Jenny Silver's done videos on it. Like, guys, there's a ton of resources. Just get out there and find it. It's, it's there for you. Okay. Okay, Angel confirms, got the text. Cool. Okay, let me get... Vance going up here, trying to keep everybody and the ball moving. Assuming I can type it correctly today. You know, I think personally the hardest part about these unemployment things, these unemployment claims is, I mean, I suppose after you've dealt with them for long enough, they're not complicated necessarily, but like they just don't give you any like good information that is written in language that I think we all could easily understand. They all have, you know, different ways of describing things, um, you know, like, I don't know, you know, benefit year end, you know, requirements, you know, wage verifications. I mean, yeah, like... <laughs> Maybe we, maybe some of us understand what all that means, but it's not, I don't think it's very easy for people to get what's happening with, you know, unemployment. And they sure as heck don't really seem to make a very concerted effort in terms of getting that information out there easily. So um, I I get why a lot of people are very confused by, you know, unemployment. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. Um, Four eight four six seven zero seven two four. Cool. Okay, hang tight, guys. I gotta reload another card really quick. Let's take a look at the chats. Hey, Delena. I actually saw you on my last live stream, and I got your phone number here. Thanks for joining. I'm gonna be giving you a call or a claim or callback, like I promised. Okay, but you gotta be a little bit patient for me. I've got some people ahead of you. All right. All right, guys. Give me just a moment. I gotta reactivate another card. Dan writes, last year I waited six months to go from pending to paid, and this year almost five months. Yeah, Delane, I remember you. Richard, hey guys, yeah, for those of you that have emailed, just be patient. I will be getting to you guys. I go through the lists, the email lists, uh, usually, you know, twice or three times during a live stream, and I do everybody in batches, okay? So if you haven't heard me call out your name, just be patient, okay? I'm getting to you. All right, let's get this up and going. Yeah, and so going back to that whole conversation about, you know, things aren't very clear, like, you know, for people that have, maybe never really been on unemployment or even if you've been on unemployment, but it's never really made much sense to you. Like it's really difficult to kind of learn like all these different hoops that you've got to jump through. Um, and you know, that, that, that's just getting your claim up and going. I mean, gosh, like what's going on with my situation with an appeal. I mean, that's a whole other, you know, can of worms right there. So, you know, if you guys are frustrated or, you know, you don't really know what's going on, um, I I totally have been there. Um, and, and you guys aren't alone uh, at all. 
And, you know, I think that's why there's, you know, a lot of great information online. I think that what, you know, folks like Jenny is doing, uh, Shelly's Millions is doing, um, I, I can't say enough for the work that and the information that, you know, they're putting together on such a regular basis, um, you know, to, to help you guys out, kind of understand what's going on with claims, you know, and unfortunately they can't fix claims, but they certainly can give you more information. And unfortunately that's the name of the game here is the more information that you have, the better. And that's why calling is so incredibly important and talking to these reps. Um, if you're not talking to reps or you're not seeing, you know, claim traction, um, you know, you, you guys are, 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 are stuck in a situation where you're waiting for them to, to take action. And that's a really, as, as Daniel just writes, I mean, he was waiting five months. I've waited, well, yeah, over 72 weeks. I have 72 weeks of payments that are pending in Nevada. And I'm in appeals right now. I can't call because they only use contractors or subcontractors and the appeals department does not take calls. I just have to wait. I literally have to wait. I've done everything. I've contacted my legislator. Um, I've emailed, I've literally spoken to uh, my senator's offices and it's just, they're like, yep, sorry, nothing we can do. Okay, hey Vance, we got you a call back. Imgard, you're going to be next. So yeah, um, you know, not that calling is the end all be all solution for sure, but it's definitely when it works, it's amazing. And I, <laughs> I wish Nevada had California's system. Like you guys have no idea how fortunate you guys are to have a state that literally, um, like went out of its way. Maybe they didn't want to, but they did. Um, they open up their call center to be seven days a week, 12 hours a day. It's insane. It's insane that you can reach a, a representative at EDD seven days a week. Um, like in Nevada, you can't do that. You can only call Monday through Friday. And if you don't call by, if you don't, if you don't get a connection by 8, 15 AM, um, all their queue, all, all their phone calls for the rest of the day are closed off. Like it's it, like you can't even call. So you either get in at eight, between eight and 8.15 or that's it. And, you know, it's just, it's a really frustrating situation. So, you know, guys, there's a lot of reasons like as pissed off as you may very well be at EDD, um, telling you the fact that you guys can call, um, the fact that this lawsuit that went through and EDD is now taking a pay it, you know, now approach you guys are in so good a shape compared to so many other states. You really are. Um, it doesn't mean that there hasn't been a lot of suffering in the meantime, but you know, I just want to let you know that it could be, yeah, it could be a lot worse. Okay. Hey, Imgard, you've got your call back. That's coming. Please let me know that you've got a, uh, a text. Mary, we're going to get you set up now. And guys, I'm, I'm not focusing on chats right now. Um, I'm just literally ripping off as many phones, phone numbers as I can. Nope, I've already done that. Let me go back a page. I feel like I got a little distracted there. Try that again. 909-232-1314. And yeah, guys, please, um, as always, like, let me know that you guys are getting through uh, to EDD. Uh, let me know that callback has shown up. Uh, let me know that the text has arrived. Let us know if the uh, agents are helpful. Um, let us know if they're transferring you over to a tier two rep. Um, you know, kind of just share your experience, please. It was kind of fun on uh, Friday last week, we actually had three people that got paid on the live stream, um, on the phone. Like it was pretty rad. They, uh, they called in and I think what they had on their situation was they had a, what's called a quarter review that started about two and a half weeks ago. Um, and their claims were fixed while we were on the live stream. Like the agent was able to take the pending off of their account, 
while they're on the phone and their claim went from pending to a paid status. Um, of course, you know, they had to wait for Bank of America to release, release the funds and all that. But that was a pretty cool like thing to see live. Um, so yeah, let me know if any of that kind of stuff happens for you guys. Cool. Hey, Mary, you're getting another text, okay? So guys, keep an eye out for those numbers coming from 800 300 5616. I've got two more numbers to go and then I'll be checking emails. All right, so I've got, I believe it's Key Lilo the Rapper or Chiquilia. Um, You're next. So 510 210 2333. Cool. Let's get this. Cool. All right. Um, Kililo, the rapper, you're getting a call back too. Okay. So keep an eye out for that. All right. My last call that I have on the list is for Christy. And then we'll jump back to the emails and see if I missed anybody. And guys too, like, look, this isn't a perfect system. Like, look, if I miss your calls today, just be patient. I'm going to be doing another live stream tomorrow. Um, you know, just, just be patient. Like we'll, we'll, we'll get to you. Um, we're already coming up here on about an, a little over an hour and a half. Um, I think I'm going to keep this live stream going till about 1230 and then I'm going to need to shut it down so I can get some food. Um, and then we'll do another one tomorrow. And I think tomorrow's live stream, uh, I'm trying to think, I think tomorrow's live stream, I'm going to schedule that for, um, Probably starting at 8.30 tomorrow, okay? So 8.30 to, yeah, 8.30 a.m. We'll do a little bit earlier. Okay, cool. That seemed to work. Um, Christy, you're getting a call back. All right, guys. That's the second batch of calls. That's 17 calls we've put out today. All right. Appreciate you guys being patient. I'm going to come back here to the live stream and get caught up on chat comments really quick. Okay, hang tight here, guys. Okay. Hang on, hang on here. Okay, so Tamara writes, and guys, I'm going back to 11.25 a.m. Tamara writes, assembly made mine worse, escalated and disqualified because of ID. They have all the paper. What the hell? Hmm. Tamara, um, you know, that can happen. You know, <laughs> I would suggest that you reach out to your assembly member again, unfortunately, and say, hey, look, like this isn't this didn't help my situation. This is worse. The other option is, you know, you could potentially call today getting some of these callbacks we're giving out and see if you can reach a tier two rep, um, you know, claim specialist to potentially fix your claim. OK, uh, Terry writes, I need to get through. Just got pending status with no explanation since 710. So Terry Smith, um, yeah, what's going on there? 710, 8, July 10th. That was the uh, the quarter review. You've got a super easy one to get fixed. Super easy. Like you just need to call and talk to a tier one rep. If you guys have been pending for the last two and a half weeks or so, it's most likely due to the quarter review and a tier one rep, the first rep that picks up can literally get your claim fixed over the phone. So um, if you haven't emailed me, please do so and we'll get you a call set up. Uh, the other thing is I recommend you contact your assemblyman. Okay. All right. What else do we have here? 
All right, Richard Heredia. Hey, Nick, describe and send email. Okay, Richard, I'll keep an eye out for that. Chris writes, got another call, but was transferred for authorization from tier two. I'm crossing my fingers. It was probably a two to three hour wait. Then the call dropped. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Chris, like the 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 transfers between a tier one and a tier two specialist really seem to be problematic. And this is because you guys have to realize like, this is a subcontractor that's a tier one who's transferring over to an EDD employee. And those are different queues. Like, like they're, they're different phone systems, okay? Um, and we see a lot of problems with the disconnects between a tier one and a tier uh, two transfer. So just keep that in mind. Um, all right, let's see what we've got here. As far as the job search goes, I registered with Cal Jobs and applied for full-time work. Is that gonna be sufficient to continue benefits? Absolutely, guys. Um, depending on the type of claim that you have, unless you have a FedEd claim, you need to be doing one work search requirement uh, a week going forward. Um, I do recommend that you guys are registered on Cal Jobs. Uh, it's not a requirement, but I recommend that you do that to keep you out of pending because EDD's uh, online UI system like can tell if you're registered with Cal Jobs. And for some people, they are required to have a Cal Jobs registration. And I don't trust that the system really knows the difference between the two. So that's why I recommend that everybody register for Cal Jobs. You don't need to do your work searches on Cal Jobs. You can do it on LinkedIn. You can do it, you know, however you want to do it. But I do recommend Cal Jobs. All right, Delana, I'll get into you in just a second. You're so welcome. Okay. All right. Just got a call back on hold now. Thanks everyone. You're amazing to offer this to us. Yeah, for sure. Guys, like happy to do this. Um Please just keep us posted, right? And guys, look, you know, what helps me out is it helps when you guys like come back after your calls, like, you know, today, tomorrow, um, you jump into uh, the live stream and, you know, you write a comment like, hey, it worked or hey, it didn't work. I loved it. I hated it. Um, I got through. I got disconnected. I hate Nick. I love Nick, whatever, right? Like all that stuff helps, you know, build the channel out, right? Um, you know, tell your friends and family about it, all that good stuff, okay? All right, so Pam writes, or Susan writes, I paid for Claimer five times. It's been great. Just waiting for EDD to pay me since February. They say it's being fixed. Hey, Susan, um, yeah, so that's real interesting that you've been waiting since February. Um, I personally think that you need to contact your assembly member today if you haven't done it recently. In the last like week, things have completely changed. They've got a lot more help now with EDD staffers, and that's really getting traction. The other thing that's really potentially huge for you, Susan, is the lawsuit that went through. Um, it was settled out of court, so it hasn't actually been a you know formal lawsuit, but they're gonna be paying people, particularly people like yourself, who've been pending for more than two weeks, and if you've received one payment. So if you've received one payment or more, and you've been pending for two or more weeks, EDD will now be paying you, okay? And they're doing that in batches. Okay, between now and September 30th. And you know, there's gonna be doing, a lot of people are gonna get a lot of back pay. So that's good news for you, Susan. Pam writes, I don't know how to say a more, thank you. Oh, Pam, you're so welcome, you're welcome. Just, yeah, like I said, um, drop some comments, guys. Like, let me know how the calls are going in the, in the comments uh, on YouTube. Share it with your friends and family. You know, you guys are in all the Facebook groups, like share it in the other Facebook groups. There's a lot of Facebook groups that, you know, uh, don't like Claimer, uh, and that's fine. I, I don't care, Claimer's just an option for you guys, right? Um, you know, just share it around where you can. Um, Dan writes, we got to get you on the Nevada news. <laughs> yeah, I've tried, Daniel. Um, there's so many people though that are like in my same shoes. They're called the first filers that filed back in, you know, March and May. Um, there's over like 40,000 of us that are in appeals, you know, and we have legitimate claims. Like I ran a business. I ran a business for Burning Man. I rented RVs. Um, Burning Man has been shut down the last two years because of COVID. That was my entire business model. And they're like, nope, you were unemployed due to personal reasons. And I'm like, my company literally shut down. Like, how is that personal reasons? I mean, I've got the, I've got the evidence right here. Like, you know, Burning Man shut down. Like this is, and it's been all over the news. So it's just, it's crazy. You know, they, every single state really, unfortunately, and I will, I'm a little, this is a little political. Every single state generally looks at unemployed people as guilty before proven innocent. That's how it works. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of fraud and particularly around this last pandemic, a ton of fraud. But that doesn't mean everybody is a fraudster. I'm not a fraudster. You guys aren't fraudsters. You're not. 
maybe you guys make a small error on the crazy like you know filing requirements but that doesn't make you a fraudster you know um so unfortunately because of that 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 attitude that they have um it makes it a really toxic environment to not only work in as an unemployment you know uh, professional um it also you know comes from the top down the top management is literally telling everyone below them like you know deny where you can deny where you can and not that it should be a you know approve where you can but it should be you know let's assume that they're telling us the truth and i don't know that doesn't seem to be the case in my my claim all right let's take a look here We're almost caught up on chats okay imgar it looks like i typed in the wrong phone number for you i will get you another call back don't worry about that uh pam writes told me showing should be fixed in 48 hours will be in my account i've been watching all these itineraries you are straightforward um yeah i'm not quite sure what you mean pam um it told me showing that it should be fixed in 48 hours will be in my account yeah I, is that an agent that told you that or not okay pam writes i got the calls and texts you're the best yeah pam thank you um please keep us posted okay let us know when you get that call back Todd writes, claimer wait times around 50 minutes at this time. Don't give up. Your calls are coming. Yeah, thanks, Todd. Appreciate that. Alexander Hamilton, I received my first payment on Thursday, but I haven't received my benefits from June. What should I do? So, Alexander, sounds like you're actually a really good candidate to do one of two things. You, or you're welcome to get a call back today, um, you know, if you'd like one. I think also you should immediately contact your assemblyman. Um, they are helping people out, particularly with your situation. Um, I recommend you do that right away. But the other great news, again, is that lawsuit that was settled out of court last week. Sounds like you're going to be a prime candidate for that, and you will be paid very, very, very quickly. It's going to take them some time to get that program up and going, but I do recommend that, you know, you keep pressing on them, right, to, you know, get that, uh, you know, keep keep that pressure on them, right? So contact your assemblyman. And if you'd like a call today to talk to a Tier 2 rep, it sounds like, you know, there may be something going on with your claim. Could be a benefit year-end situation. Um, you know, can't hurt to do that today either. All right. Uh, got the text. You're welcome. Hang on, guys. I'm almost caught up on emails. Okay, Imgard, Nick, I think you wrote my phone incorrectly. Yeah, Imgard, I will get you another call. All right, got the text. Thank you, Mary. Christy writes, got the text. Thank you so much for this. You're very welcome, everyone. Um, IKBTV, I've been calling for four days straight from 8 p.m., 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Got through once yesterday and the call dropped on hold. Please help. Yeah, if you sent me an email, I key BTV, we'll get you set up. Okay, RS is waiting for a tier two rep already. Okay, so this is good news, right? Like she's got through to a, uh, a tier one rep has now transferred them over to a tier two rep. And this is where the danger zone comes in, right? There's a lot of disconnects while waiting for a tier two rep. And plus the hold times can be very, very long while waiting for a tier two rep. So for all of you, all of you that are waiting for a tier two rep, just be aware these hold times can be very long. We're talking in the order of up to two plus hours or more, okay? So if you don't have that kind of time, you know, just be be aware. It could come much faster, but it could be a while, all right? All right, hey, Andrew, good to see you. Um, hey, Nicholas, I have been pending from the quarterly review. I saved, I was saved from it. Now I'm just worried about certifying this coming weekend. I'm just gonna do it the right way, yes to three. Thanks, Andrew, for dropping in. Uh, I love it, man. I appreciate it. And I think you're going about it the right way. I think your claim's actually going to be okay from here on out, Andrew. You passed through the quarterly review. It sounds like you're doing the work searches correctly. Um, I think you're going to be good to go. Linda writes, didn't get to me today. Hopefully tomorrow. Linda, I will be getting to you today without a question. Um, she writes, I've been in pending status since April, even though a rep called me in June and said she'd escalate my claims. Yeah, Linda, what I think happened to you is you were part of the April quarterly review. All right, that happened. And I think that you had a benefit year end situation. And that's kind of what's going on with your claim. Your claim is stuck somewhere in, in the system. And you're probably going to need to talk to a tier two rep. I still recommend Linda doing this while you're waiting for me to get to these callbacks. Reach out, find your uh, find your representative, okay, for your area. Um, and guys, I'm actually going to pull this up here really quick, save you guys the trouble. Um, bear with me. I've got the video like laying around here somewhere, so I might as well just do it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give you guys a link here, how to find your representative. And I'm, I'm, I'm serious guys, like if you have not contacted your representative yet, 
please do this while you're on the live stream. Like literally, because you need to contact them and then get them to um, do, I think it's, it's a information release uh, request form. So there's a process to that. So get that ball moving. All right. Okay, Linda, Andrew, Slice to Chief. Uh, been pending since April. I went through this year and started a job I couldn't do. I got let go and now EDD says they have to interview to see if I qualify. Um, yeah, I think Slice to Chief, I think you're gonna want to talk with a tier two adjuster um, and see if there's a way that they could do potentially a mini interview uh, for your claim. Um, but nonetheless, you might actually be okay. Again, if you have been paid one week in the past and you've been pending for at least two weeks, you will be covered under this new lawsuit that GDOL just settled out of court and you will be paid very soon. So keep that in mind, okay? That's the good news. Okay. All right, Lionel's giving me an update. Just giving an update. Spoke to someone who gave me new info. Now I know exactly what's going on and being transferred to a tier two. Thanks, Lionel. So how many times have you called and spoke to an agent? I'm kind of curious, man, because that's huge. All right. Andrew writes, I just was also told my cousin who's been pending for three months to contact the assemblyman and they got back to him literally within two days. They're working on it now. Should he also do claimer? Um, I personally think like if you're getting good traction, Andrew, or your cousin's getting good traction from your assembly member, no, like don't use claimer. You know, there's a time to use and a time to not use it, right? Um, if you don't see claim traction after, you know, two to three days after the last time you heard from your assembly member, yeah, that's when I would probably consider calling again. That's my thoughts. All right, Imgerd, okay. Juan Gonzalez, been pending for 10 weeks. I have my interview call tomorrow. Okay, good luck, Juan. Um, look guys, and just so you guys know, if you guys have an interview, a phone interview with them, you need to tell them, I am looking for work. I'm looking for full-time work, not part-time. I am looking for full-time work. I am available for full-time work. Okay, that's a very, very key statement that they want to hear, all right, that you're looking for full time work and you're available for full time work, even if you're taking care of a loved one. Okay, like you can be working from home from full time and taking care of a loved one in their eyes. Now I know that may not be realistic, but keep that in mind. Okay. All right, Terry writes, uh, sorry, I was away for a bit, got the text, cool. Um, driver Pat writes, I just emailed and subscribed, whoop, whoop, sounds good. Um, let's see what else we got here. My payments halted on March 14th. Any suggestions why that may be? I don't know why it would have halted in March, uh, Pat, but it could be a lot of different things. I think again, contact your assemblyman and let's try and get a call going here. Linda writes, hey there, nice to see you again. I don't mind being a moderator, but I may not be in every stream. Not sure how you still be. Hey, Linda, yeah, no worries. Just where your time permits. Thanks for joining in. Um, no expectations. Just I know you have a lot of good you know, feedback. And guys, the thing too, if you hear something that I say, I'm not an expert. Uh, that you know is categorically wrong, like just let me know. I'm well, happy to get my information updated, okay? All right, we're about ready to get some calls going here. Cool. All right, let's get some emails going. Um, Imgard, you're gonna be first, okay? Um, a couple things, some people emailed me, but I haven't heard from them. I'm looking for Ricky. Ricky, you emailed me, but I need you to write your name into the chat box because otherwise I just... I can't correlate it back to the email, okay? So Imgard, I'm gonna put you up here. You're gonna be first on the callbacks. And guys too, I apologize if I fat finger your uh, phone numbers, I really do. Um, I'll try and take it as slow as I can. I may have also written it down wrong, so keep that in mind. All right, I'm going over here to my emails. Um, we've got a number of people that are in the live stream, which is awesome. But I need to get everybody's emails up and going. All right. Okay, let's see. Let's start off with I've got Richard. I know I saw Richard in there. Richard, you're going to be getting a call back. Bear with me guys, I got to pull all this together. Awesome. Um, okay, I've got Ryan. 
Ryan, if you can just confirm, you may have a different YouTube name, just write, just type in Ryan, so that way I know you're here. Guys, the reason is, is that I need you guys to not just like get a call back and wing it. I need you guys to actually follow in the live stream a little bit because again, of the key information that I'm sharing with you, I need you guys to be like as fully prepared and know how to use Claimer with these callbacks that they provide, okay? Because you guys aren't getting just this one callback. You guys are actually getting 10, but you gotta know how to use that, right? So um, that's why I asked you guys to check into the live stream and you know keep me posted on that. All right, so Imgrid, you're gonna be one. Richard, you're gonna be two. Ryan, I you may have checked in, but I need you to check in again. Um, I've got Irene. Irene, can you please write your name, Irene, into the chat box? Um, that way I know that you're still in the live stream. And guys, we're coming up here on about two hours. I'm gonna be doing this. This is gonna be my last batch of emails for the day, or last batch of calls for the day, okay? Okay. Camera. Um, Tamara, you emailed me, but I don't see a phone number and email from you. Um, okay, I have one from Braylon. Braylon, if you're in the live stream, please write your name Braylon so I can check you in there. Oops, uh, 4665. Terry Smith. Sorry, I used your last name. Apologize. I try not to give people's information away, but it happens from time to time. Terry, uh, we'll get you set up here. Terry, if you're in the live stream, can you please, um, I think you are in the live stream. Can you please just double check back in? I think I, I saw your comment earlier. Okay. Uh, Terry, yeah, got you there. Patrick, Patrick, I got an email from you. Um, Patrick, Fluk, yeah. Okay, cool. I've got your number there, Patrick. Patrick, if you're in the live stream, please just write your name Patrick into the chat box. 2034. Okay. Who else do we have here? Um, I've got Marky. Marky, please check in as well. And I've got Randall. Randall, if you are on the live stream, please check in now, guys. So this is the last email that I have here, the last phone number. We're gonna be able to go through these pretty quick here, guys. But I need you guys to check into the live stream. Okay, so I've got all the emails. I'm gonna go back and check on live stream chats, catch up on that. Okay. My email is a star seven eight one bk. Um, hey, Ike IKBTB. Yeah, I don't know what. Braylon. Okay, cool. Braylon, I've got you. Thank you. Sorry, guys. It's just a little bit hard to keep everything going. Um, let's go through. Terry, I've got you there. You're getting a call. Rasar, hey Rasar, you keep dropping into the live streams, man. If you ever need a callback, bud, I know you also are active on the uh, YouTube channel uh, for me. I appreciate the the kind words, man. If you need a callback, let me know, please. Um, okay, Richard, I know you're still here. You're good. I'm looking for. Okay, Jaslyn. Okay, Jaslyn. Jaslyn, sorry, could you put your name in? I saw, I saw your email, but I don't. Maybe maybe you're Marky. I think you're Marky. Yeah, you are Marky. Okay, got it. Um, RS writes, Nick, the Centers for Rights actually did file the lawsuit. They want to have a court-ordered settlement that binds EDD. It was filed in Alameda. Yeah, so thank you for sharing that. Um, I'm not a legal expert. I've just been kind of keeping an eye on the news that came out on the uh, the SF Chronicle. Um, and yeah, this is huge. Like, I so... 
because it's based on these UIPL uh, DOL updates that they put out. And I feel like there's so many states that aren't complying with those. And thank goodness that the Center for Workers' Rights actually filed this lawsuit because I think this is the case in so many other states that aren't complying. Um, and it's literally taking lawsuits to get these fixed. So um, thank you for that update. Um, Joel writes, a friend filed a new benefit year back in March when EDD was requiring that. All the weeks on his new, I, new UI benefit year is pending. He doesn't qualify for pending to be paid via that lawsuit. Um, Joel, so the way the lawsuit from what I understand works is this. You have to be paid one week on your claim and you have to be pending for at least two weeks. So if he meets those requirements, he will be paid. All right. Cool. I think we're kind of caught up here. Um, let's see. Braylon, Vanessa. Hey, Vanessa. Okay, Patrick. Okay, Patrick. Yep, I got you, bud. Thank you for checking in. You guys, you can understand, right? Like your YouTube names are different than your names that um, you know, you're know you using in your emails. And that's why I'm a little, little confused. So I'm still looking for Ryan and Irene and Randall. Nope, Randall, I see you there. Randall, you're good to go. Um, I'm gonna give this another minute here. I'm looking for Ryan and Irene. Ryan and Irene, if you guys can check in because you guys did email me, please let me know. And we'll get these calls set up in here in just about another, we'll give you another two minutes or so, okay? So just check into the chat box, okay? Um, we're looking again for Ryan and Irene, all right? Oh, and I'm sorry, we also have Delana. Delana, you are actually going to be seconds after Imgard here. You've been so kind, because I know we we're trying to get you on the last live stream. So Delana, you're gonna be seconds after Imgard gets her call rescheduled. And Delana, I hope that everything's going okay. I know you said you had a little bit of a, a little bit of an injury last week. Okay. Okay, Irene, there you are. I see you. And Ryan. Oh, Slice the Chief, that's Ryan. Slice the Chief, are you still here, man? You know what? I'm going to take care of him because I know that's who he is. Okay, guys, we are ready to get going here. All right, so let me just read off the list of who's going to get these callbacks really quick. Yep, Marky, I've got it. Thanks, Jaslyn. Okay, so Imgard, you're going to be one. Delena, you're going to be two. Richard, you're going to be three. Ryan, you're going to be four. Irene, you're going to be five. Braylon, you're going to be six. Terry, you're going to be seven. Patrick, you're going to be eight. Marky, you're going to be nine, and Randall, you're going to be 10. And that's going to be it for the callbacks today, guys, uh, just due to time constraints. I usually run these for about two and a half hours, and after that, I got to get some food. So hope you guys can appreciate that. Um, hey, Doug, uh, no worries, Doug. If you need a callback, and for any of you guys that want a callback, I'm going to be doing another one of these live streams tomorrow starting at 8.30. Um, the callback should be a little bit faster tomorrow. Um, so if you didn't get a call back today, don't sweat it. Just, uh, wait a little bit later. I'll be building out. You'll see the notification for the live stream. Um, you need to subscribe that way you get the notification and that way, uh, you guys can, you know, email me either during the live stream or you can email me ahead of time. Um, but I need you guys obviously to email me and follow those instructions that are there in the live stream description. All right. So they're supposed to be pain pending, but I believe Jenny said you must still go through your phone interview. So it's like, if you get paid, don't spend it. Um, yeah, so I I think Jenny is absolutely the expert in this whole field, guys. Um, there's definitely a risk of overpayments. They can find potentially that it, by paying you with these conditional payments, they could find in the future that you were overpaid. They you know like you shouldn't have received your benefits, but you can appeal that. Um, you know, I personally think that, you know, if you didn't file your claim fraudulently, um, you know, if you guys, the other thing too, is that, you know, if you can't repay, so I think the requir requirement for overpayment is that you didn't file it fraudulently 
and that you lost your unemployment through no fault of your own. And if you can't repay because of financial hardship, AKA you spent all the money on bills and you know life, right? Um, you know, they can find that you don't have to repay that. That is a process you will have to go through though, unfortunately. So keep in mind, like, just because you'll get paid doesn't mean that EDD is not potentially going to try and request, you know, that money back from you in the future. That could happen to any of us, any, any of us that have received any type of EDD payments, okay? All right. Thanks, driver. Pat, appreciate it. Uh, you're a blessing in disguise. Well, I hope my disguise isn't too bad. <laughs> um, all right. Randall writes, my wife has an aunt who works for EDD who says mine most likely stuck to a quarterly review based on the dates pending began beginning of April. Yeah, Randall, that sounds 100% right. The last pending review we had was in April. Uh, if you've been stuck since then, there's probably a, a quarterly review issue coupled with a benefit year end recertification problem. Um, you might need a tier two. You might be able to get a fix with a tier one if it's a super easy fix. Okay, Slice the Chief, I'm Ryan, I'm still here, I got gotcha. you. Doug, okay, I think we're all caught up on chats. Let's go ahead and get this cracked out. One last comment from, Con from Linda. So the EDD is required to pay a lot of pending issues, yes, but this doesn't clear whatever elig eligibility interview you may have. Please save most of that money if the EDD wants it back. Yeah, so guys, I'm not gonna give advice on whether or not to save the money, spend the money. Um, you know, personally, like I said, uh, if EDD pays you and, you know, you have a, in your mind, you, you, you've applied for it um, with no, you know, fraud on your side and you, you know, have not lost your job through no fault of your own, um, you know, so on and so forth, you know, that, that, that money is your money. I think the, the issue that you may have is that the biggest issue, and I could be completely wrong on this, I'm going to put my... I wouldn't say reputation, but I'm going to run the risk of saying some possibly incorrect information. If you, if they find that you were overpaid in the future, okay, they find that you need to pay them back. I don't know if they can necessarily take you to court. I mean, if it's a fraud case and clear cut fraud, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't take the money at all. I mean, obviously, don't commit fraud, guys. Like that's it's, it's a no brainer. But if they find that you're overpaid because maybe you know you got paid and, and you lost your job and it was your fault. They find it was your fault later on down the road. Um, I don't know if they can garnish your wages. I don't know if they'll take you to court. What I think is more likely, and this is what I've seen in Nevada. Now, this only applies to Nevada, so don't assume that this will be the same in California. What I've seen is that you will be ineligible for unemployment benefits in Nevada going forward. So, for example, you might get paid now, but you let's say you're you know 10 years, five years down the road, and you file for unemployment again in the state of California and they have you set up as an that you were overpaid, you won't get any payments or benefits until that overpayment is paid back. That's usually how it works. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, you know, it's, it's a calculated risk, of course, but I also know that a lot of this money has been waiting out there for a long time. So um, I just, yeah, if you guys can, can you know, save the money, uh, great, but, um, I would also consider if you have a pending phone interview, if you know you have a phone interview, I would, as much as you can, try and save as much of that money until that interview gets done with. That's my recommendation there. Okay, let's get going with some calls. Linda. Linda, I forgot you. How did I forget you, Linda? Linda, I did not forget you. I promised you like five times. <laughs> I'm going to go get your, your number right now. I'm so sorry, Linda. Um, hmm. Hey, Linda, when did you, maybe that's why, um, Linda, I, I may have an email from you, but I'm not seeing it. And maybe that's because your name in the YouTube stream is different than your email. Andrew writes, I spent all my money on gas in my vehicle. Anyways, it's nice to see you again. Just want to stop and say hi. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks for always coming in uh, and visiting. I really appreciate it, bud. 
Okay, yeah, so Linda, can you please send me another email um, right now? I will, I will absolutely get you a call back today. Um, I'm looking through this and I don't see, let me see if there's something from Koenig. Guys, we're just about ready to go and get going on calls. Yeah, um, Linda, can you please send me another email really quick? Uh, and let me know when you've sent it, okay? All right, guys, I'm gonna get going on calls. Okay, so this first call, this is going out to Imgard. Let's get that dialed up. So just using clamor.com. And I will be hopefully going a little bit slower to make sure that we don't have any missed or incorrectly put in phone numbers. I'm gonna select California. All right. Love at claimer.com. That's close enough, right? <laughs> yeah, so um, again, not to bug you guys, but if you guys um, wouldn't mind, you know, after the live stream ends here, um, please like go back into the live stream and, you know, just put a comment on it, you know, like the live stream worked. I'm glad I showed up. I'm glad I didn't show up, whatever it was, um, you know, help me get the word out that I'm doing these live streams. Um, there are literally millions of people that are trying to get on. Well, okay. Let me rephrase that. There are millions of people on unemployment in California, and there's a lot of people that are trying to call and a lot of people can't call, can't get through, and I'd like to be able to help them, you know, so, you know, <laughs> you'd think like once the word gets out about these live streams that a lot of folks are going to start showing up, which is great. Um, so yeah, like help me, help me grow that up if you don't mind. Okay, Imgard, I've got you set up. Hopefully that number went through this time correctly. Please let me know if you got the text message, okay? All right, Delena, I'm getting you set up now. All right, so Delana, thank you so much for your patience. And for any of you guys that are still on hold or waiting on callbacks, um, you know, please uh, give us an update, you know, let us know where you're at. It really helps everyone kind of know like, okay, the callbacks are taking X amount of time, so on and so forth. Cool, got the phone number in. All right, let's get this done. Cool. All right, Delena, you're getting a call back, okay? So Delena, you need to be keeping an eye out for the number and you see it right here on the screen at 1-800-300-5616. And I'll give you some more instructions on that and guys in just a bit. Let's keep these phone calls coming. All right, so the next person on my list is Richard. And guys, also, please let me know if you're getting that text message from Claimer that lets me know that we put in the number correctly. Cool. All right. So I'm just putting in my contact info as usual. Hmm. Okay, Richard, we've got you a call. Okay, that's coming to you as well. All right, let's move on to the next one. We've got uh, Ryan. Ryan, you're gonna get a call now. Please guys, let me know you're getting these texts, okay? Because this lets me know that again, that we've got the numbers input correctly. 
Yeah, I'm catching up on chats. Uh, Imgerd, you wire three instead. Okay, Linda, I see that you just sent again. Um, Imgerd, looks like there's a problem with your phone number. Maybe I am writing it down incorrectly. Give me just a sec. Let me finish this off for uh, Ryan. Okay, Ryan, you're getting a call back. Let me go back and double check MGARD's number. Linda, I'm going to look for your email. Richard says, I put your number in wrong. Guys, this is what happens when I get a little bit tired, so bear with me. I'm going to go double check these. And thank you guys for catching us on the live stream, okay? All right. Um, yeah, Linda, for some reason, your, your email isn't coming through. I use Gmail, so it should be super fast. Um, please double check it unless, you're, unless your name isn't the same as your email. So if your name is different on your email, um, does that make sense, right? If you're Linda on YouTube and you're a different name on your email, I can't correlate it. So um, keep that in mind. All right, so let's go back here. I'm going to go check. Hey, Linda, what's weird, I actually have an email from you here. It says, Linda Koenig, just an FYI, your phone is on live on your screenshot and showing your info as you type. So I have gotten an email from you, but I don't, I don't see your phone number. Maybe that's what's going on. Let me double check. Yeah, Linda, I've only gotten one email from you. So you got to send me a screenshot of your, you're subscribed to the channel and then I need to get a, uh, your phone number, okay? To get your program. I haven't gotten that email from you. Hang on guys, I'm just doing some chair adjustments here so I can get a little more comfortable. Richard, I'm double checking your number that I've got. Okay, I must have just input that incorrectly. And Imgard. Three two three six zero eight nine six eight. I may have input your number, wrote your number down wrong in garden. Oh yeah, that's what's going on in guard. I wrote it down wrong, bud. It's a five instead of a three. Okay, so we've got that. All right, let's go get these knocked out really quick for Imgard and Richard. And I'm coming back to the chat. Okay, Paul gives us an update. He's still on hold. So guys, Paul was our first person that we got a connection to today. He reached a tier one agent and now he needs to reach a tier two agent. He's still on hold, okay? Thanks, Paul, for being on hold. For those of you who are on hold, you're waiting to be transferred. Again, it may or may not help, but I, I encourage you to try it. Uh, press nine about every 10 minutes uh, seems to help the disconnects. All right, I'm just checking up on chats. When, uh, do I need to pause the YouTube channel or anything so or so or I'm so insecure? No, Delana, you don't need to do anything. Delana, what you just need to do is need to wait. Okay, the callbacks are taking around 30 to 50 minutes right now. So Claimer right now, again, is calling. As soon as I put the order in, Claimer starts calling on your behalf. Okay. 
And then what ends up happening, right, is uh, they once they get connected to EDD, they send that call back to you. Okay, so keep an eye out for that number 800 uh, 300 5616. I think it's what the number is off the top of my head. And once that that comes in, you need to stay on hold. Okay, until an agent picks up. All right. All right. Okay, Ryan just writes, thank you for the callback. I just got the text from Claimer. You rock, man. This is much appreciated. Yeah, Ryan, you're you're totally welcome. Um, guys, like I said, best of luck today. Okay. And let me know how things go for you guys in the uh, you know, in, in the actual comments on the live stream. Um, once I close this. And when I say the comments in the live stream, I mean that um on my channel, you guys will actually see this live stream once it ends, and you'll actually be able to put you, you know, comments in the in the comment section below the description, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's what I'm asking for is you get just some updates there. Uh, Pooh Carter, I'm not taking any more orders today. Uh, I'm doing another live stream tomorrow at 8:30 a.m. Okay, so just be patient. We'll do another one tomorrow. All right, let's get this out for Imgard here. I think we got it right this time, Imgard. All right, so we're selecting California. Guys, I really appreciate your patience. You guys are kind of seeing that this is a slow but steady process. Um, and I wish I could make this a little bit faster for you, but I can't. So appreciate your patience in advance. Cool. Imgard, let me know if that text finally got to you. Richard, let's get you set up here. Driver Pat writes, you're doing all the names you wrote down about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, so Pat, I had a couple people that I input their numbers in incorrectly. So right now I'm just getting Richard caught up and then I'll actually be able to move down the list. So while I'm finishing up this order here for Richard, um, I guess now is probably an appropriate time to make sure you guys are aware, right? Like with these callbacks, you guys have 10 additional callbacks, um, you know, through Claimer. I really encourage you guys to use these callbacks um, <laughs> over the next three days. I really do. I think that by not calling, um, and not using these callbacks. I mean, look, if, if you get on the phone and you get paid, awesome. That, that's what you're looking for. But if you get on the phone and you have an agent that tells you, um, oh, you just need to wait for a phone interview that's 14 weeks away, call again. Put on your best you know, customer service, friendly face, hat, whatever you want to call it. And what I recommend you do is ask that tier one agent um, you know, or ask the next tier one agent, use another callback later today or tomorrow, I really recommend that you um, get a hold of what's called a tier two adjuster. An adjuster uh, can fix your claim, your phone interview situation. They can, not, on, not in all cases, but if it's something simple and minor and you built a relationship with them, they absolutely can fix interview situations over the phone. 
So I really encourage you guys to like take advantage of these callbacks that are provided as a result of this live stream. Okay. Um, you know, and, and heck, if you don't need them, give them to your friends, let your friends use your phone, you know, like use the callbacks. Um, they're, they're, they're invaluable, right? Like you guys all know how hard it is to get through to EDD. Like, don't let these callbacks go to waste. Um, you know, please. You know, share them with friends and family as you need. Um, I really, really encourage you guys to use them to your full advantage or share them, you know, where, where, where you can. Hang on, guys. I'm just catching up on something on my side here. All right, we are back to this for Richard. All right. Cool. Richard, let me know if you got that text. Okay, let's get on to the next one here. I've got uh, Irene. Irene, you are up now. I'm coming back to the chat, guys. Okay, Delana writes, the instruction says we get an SMS text message at the same time. I read the information in the text message. He gave me a lot of instructions. Thank you. You're welcome, Delana. And God writes, Apologize, the phone's giving you a hard time. Sorry. There was another mistake and you wrote it down again. Okay, hey, Imgard, what I'm going to do is this, is after the live stream, I will set you up with Claimer. Uh, please send me another email and let's double check that the phone number is correct. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get you dialed in. Linda writes, uh, did Gmail work? UI vlogs. Nick, just wanted to confirm those are 10 callbacks within a 72 hour. Hey, UI Vlogs. Uh, thanks for joining, man. Uh, really appreciate you coming in. So the, the, the claimer setup as I understand it right now, it's 10 callbacks within 48 hours. That's what they're currently doing. So UI Vlogs, the way this works right is these first calls that I'm sending out right now, this is the first call. And then they get 10 more after that to be placed within a 48 hour period. Okay. Um, hope that gives you the information that you need. Those callbacks are for disconnections. Those callbacks are for, well, maybe the representative was rude to you. You know, those callbacks are effectively your discretion, right? So they help with the disconnects. They help with the issues between a tier one transfer to a tier two, so on and so forth. Um, really appreciate you joining the live stream. I love your work. Um, thanks for coming in. And for everyone that doesn't know about UI Vlogs, he has a great uh, YouTube channel and uh, he's been in the space for a long time. So it's really cool to have him kind of jump in. Um, thanks for the work that you do UI Vlogs and thanks for your question, man. All right. Hey, and Linda, I'll double check. Thank you, Richard, for confirming that you got the text. Linda, I'm going to double check the emails right now. Linda, I got... I got it now. Okay. It finally came through. And UI vlogs, if you have any other questions, um, let me know in the chat or you've got my email. It's up at the uh, top of the chat box. Um, that's pinned there. Just let me know. And again, thanks for all the, the great work you do. Okay, cool. Got you, Linda. We'll get you set up now. Driver Pat, you're not really explaining how to take advantage of the callbacks. Um, okay, well, that's fair. Like, how to take advantage of the callbacks. Well, all right, so guys, like, imagine these callbacks, because Pat, I've already sent you one, right? And imagine, like, you get on hold with a tier, you, you get on hold and they disconnect you. 
Well, what you need to do is if you have the time, right? Like you can be on hold and you can wait for Claimer to call you. What you wanna do, right, is you absolutely want to use a callback from Claimer and you wanna press yes, respond yes back to that text message that they send, okay? Um, and that immediately starts having Claimer call on your behalf um, and they will connect you, you know, when they get that connection, just like you guys are seeing here on the live stream today. Now, the thing that I would recommend is this, is so that you guys can do that. What I recommend you, you request callbacks or even purchase Claimer on your own. I recommend that you do that up until about, I would say maybe 3.30, maybe four o'clock at the very, very, very latest. And the reason being is that if you know you need to talk to a tier two rep, I really think that um, the hold times can be very long. And the problem with the hold times being very long is that if you're trying to reach a tier two rep, they go home generally, I've heard varying numbers, but at some time between like, you know, five to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, and it might be earlier on the weekends. So if you're trying to reach a tier two rep and you know you need to reach a tier two rep, um, I, I don't recommend that you use those callbacks after like 3, 34 o'clock because you're not gonna reach one. So what I recommend that you do if you need to reach a tier two rep and you have these callbacks like you have today is if it's after three o'clock or four o'clock, I recommend that you actually place the call, the order after EDD closes tonight at 8 p.m. So that means that, you know, they're going to send you a callback tomorrow morning at starting at 8 a.m. And then you guys can, you know, hopefully reach a tier two rep or an adjuster or a claim specialist or whatever they want to call themselves, right? You can reach them hopefully mid-morning. And if you get disconnected, which you might, you can use another callback tomorrow early in the day and potentially get at least two, maybe even three callbacks in one day trying to reach a tier two rep. And guess what? Since you guys have that 40 hour window, you can request another callback tomorrow evening, okay? After 8 p.m., after EDD closes for Claimer to call again on Wednesday morning. And since Claimer gives you 48 hours and we're basically doing all these callbacks, you know, right about now, um, you know, you can request at least one more callback on Wednesday. So that's the technique on reaching a tier two rep. I generally recommend that later in the week, the tier two reps seem to be a little bit easier to reach. Maybe there's less people calling. That's the general you know, logic that I think of. I could be wrong on it. So I hope that answers some questions about the callback value, okay? Again, it really is to help you with the disconnects. Um, you guys have already seen, we saw it from Liana, we saw it from Chris, that callbacks, um, you know, they called 10 times using Claimer. Got, got through, you know, using Claimer 10 times and they got disconnected 10 to 15 times. Like, that's not Claimer's problem, that's EDD's phone line system. So unfortunately, that can happen. Hopefully it doesn't, but it can. Okay, Pat says, I haven't sent yours yet. Um, Pat, let me double check. I thought I wrote yours down. Thought I did. Pat, I apologize. You've been here. I'll get you a call back, okay? Just be patient, man. Oh, Patrick, you're on my list. You're like number eight, man. Yeah, you just got to be patient. <laughs> Hang tight, man. And for those of you I saw, um, oh, you have logs got a comment. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate it. That was a question from one of our viewers. I'll make sure that's passed along. Keep the great work. Yeah, thanks, you have logs. I really appreciate it too. Keep up, obviously, everything you're doing in your space. Um, yeah, I think it's important that all of us are working in this space to help folks. Um, you know, I again, guys, I am not an expert in 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 the you know California unemployment space. I don't pretend to be. Um, I'm doing my best here. Um, but at the same time, you know, if, you know, doing these live streams and, you know, providing some of the updates that I do on my YouTube channel, help you guys, uh, with your unemployment claims. Fantastic. I really encourage every single one of you guys to, um, you know, be working with the other, uh, influencers that are in this space, you know, they're really clearly dedicated to helping people. And that includes UI vlogs, uh, Ginny, uh, Shelly, I'm sure you guys are all aware of them. And if you're not, I really recommend that you go check them out and you subscribe to them and help support their channels. Um, you know, they're they're doing a huge service to all of us out there.
Cool. Irene, I apologize for the delay, but you're getting a callback, okay? All right, the next person on my list is Braylon. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for a lot of patience. I know things have been a little distracted here, but we're getting there. So again, I'm here at Claimer. I'm just putting in this phone number, programming this for you, Braylon, directly. Okay, coming over here to EDD. All right, let's get this done so we can get through. And Linda, like I said, just be patient. I've got your phone number. Um, you'll be the last one I give a call back to today, okay? Hey guys, anybody that's received callbacks today um, from Claimer, could you guys give us a status update? Are you guys still on hold? Did you get your text message? Um, you know, have you are you on hold waiting for tier one? Are you on hold waiting for a tier two agent? Um, just give us an update, please. Cool. Uh, Braylon, we've got your call. That's coming to you. Okay. So keep an eye out for that and let me know you got that text. Uh, let's see. Terry Smith, you are going to be up next. <laughs> Linda Wright saved the best for last. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, Hang on, let me just check on chats really quick. I have no money to use Claimer. Yeah, Hannah, I'll be doing another live stream tomorrow, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, join the live stream tomorrow and we'll get you set up with Claimer, okay? Pooh Carter, I just did. How long it takes to get a message? Uh, Pooh, I, I've closed off how many calls I can do today. If you need a call back and you're not either on my list right now, um, just go ahead and show up to the live stream tomorrow, okay? Irene writes, you're truly appreciated. Thank you so much for your time and effort. Oh, thank you, Irene. That's very kind. Thank you guys, everyone, for, for showing up. And and Pat, yeah, don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about your patience, man. I, I get it. We're all kind of hoping to get things going. IKBTV writes, thank you. I really appreciate all your help. You guys are so welcome. Uh, Randall writes, how do we know if we should be expecting a callback from Claimer? So uh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, what I'd recommend is this, like if I've placed an order for you and you've gotten a text, you know you should be getting a callback. Sometimes the callbacks can take up to one to two hours. I mean, guys, Monday is the busiest day of the week, okay? So Randall, if you haven't gotten a callback yet, um, you know, keep keep that in mind. The, the next thing is that if you request a callback from Claimer um, and you don't get that callback, you know, within one to two hours or you request it in the evening and you don't get that callback by say, you know, 10 to 10.30 a.m. the next day. Um, that callback, like I've never seen it not work. Um, you know, show up on the next live stream and tell me it's not working. That'll probably be the best way and we'll test it out for you, okay? All right, real quick, let me crank this one out for Terry. That is not a, that is not a one, that is a four. And Imgard, hey, if you're still here on the uh, the live stream, I'm going to try one more time right at the end to get you a connection. Hopefully third time's a charm, right? All right.
IKB TV just received the text now. Thank you very much. Yeah, so guys, anybody that has come in uh, over the past like half hour, um, I am actually not going to be taking any more calls today just because it takes a long time to get those calls out. But I'm going to be doing another live stream tomorrow starting at 8.30 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. So please join me then and we'll get you a call back just like we've got everybody else. I think we did over 20, almost 30 calls today. So 30 people have gotten these callbacks. Um, a lot of people are on hold. A lot of people have talked to agents so far, but um, yeah, that's that's where I'm at today, guys. And, and you know, please, I, I'd love to help you tomorrow. I'm just, I'm out, I'm out of time today. But thanks for finding the channel. Um, I will be putting up a uh, live stream uh, schedule so you guys, if you guys are subscribed, right, you'll actually see that show up and you'll see like a countdown for that on the channel feed. So if you guys need that callback, um, just, yeah, go, go, go about it that way. Cool. All right, Terry, you're getting a callback. Will you please let me know if you've got that text? Patrick, you're finally up, my friend. Hey, and just a quick question. I'm kind of curious, like for the, any of you guys that have actually are getting callbacks and I don't care one way or the other, have you guys used Claimer before? Um, and it's okay if you guys are getting a free one today, it doesn't bother me. I'm just curious, like, have you used it before? And if so, like, you know, what was your experience with it? Did it work for you? Were you confused by it? Like, yeah, I mean, was it, did you guys come understand like how the callbacks works or was it kind of like, yeah, was it confusing? Terry Smith writes, I wrote the wrong number down. Terry, I'll double check that in just a minute. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Randa writes, I haven't gotten a text yet. I didn't send an email. Um, so Randall, what I would do really quick is I would, re if you haven't gotten a text, oh, that is so strange. Um, yeah, let me know tomorrow, Randall, on that. Well, wait a minute, Randall. No, I've actually got you right here, bud. You're coming up here after, I haven't sent your call yet. That's why. <laughs> Okay, Patrick, we've got a call sent to you. Please let me know you got that text. Terry, I'm going to confirm your number here. Let's see if I wrote that down incorrectly. Oh. Terry, that's why you gave me a different phone number. And then you gave me another one in your email. Okay. Yeah. So Terry, I will. I got a call back for Imgard. Terry, your number, your real number is this number. Okay. All right, let's go down the list. I know Marky's been waiting. Thank you so much for all of your patience. Delana writes, if people don't use YouTube, they don't know about it. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, it's kind of interesting, like, unemployment wise, the best place that I actually found help for my unemployment claim in Nevada was actually on uh, Facebook, on the Facebook groups there in Nevada. Um, but that was a total pain into itself because first I don't really like Facebook. Um, it's just really hard to find the information in Facebook I find. Um, and 
yeah i mean that's that's the only place i never actually thought of looking on uh youtube for unemployment help <laughs> up until um recently so i think you're totally right delena that you know people haven't heard about claimer um unless they've you know possibly been on youtube so that's a good point um eastern or pacific time yeah so guys i'm doing this 8 30 a.m tomorrow again uh pacific time okay Pooh Carter, how long does it take to get in a message? Yeah, once I give you a uh, text, it usually comes to, once I once I set up a call for you, uh, Pooh, uh, that usually gets to you in about I don't know three two two to three minutes. But I haven't set up a call for you um, because again I've, I've, I've closed this down for today. We've been doing the live stream for almost coming up on three hours here, so I've got to take a break and um, you know go get some food because you guys are clearly seeing I'm fading on energy and focus a little bit. So just bear with me. If you guys want those callbacks for EDD because your claim is pending, um, I'm gonna be doing another live stream tomorrow. Um, so yeah, be there. And you guys will see that announcement on my page. I'll be putting that up here in about, oh, an hour or two. Okay, hang tight guys. We just got went through on that card. We've got to update. Cool. That should work for you. Marky, you are all set up now too. You should be getting a call back. Randall, you are up now. Okay, I'm just checking chats really quick. Terry, yeah, I've got your email now. Thank you. Um, LNV, I just joined. Can you explain what's going on? Yeah, uh, LNV, like we're helping people out that need to reach EDD um, via Claimer. So I'm purchasing Claimer connections for them. Um, you guys can see that on the phone. I'll be doing another one of these tomorrow. If you need some help with your unemployment claim, um, show up to the live stream tomorrow and yeah, you can be a part of it, man. Uh, Todd, yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, Todd. Uh, driver Pat writes, I'm not supposed to reply to the initial message from Claimer, right? No, 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 no. You're just waiting for the callback, guys. All right, Randall, let me get yours up and going. 805, 341, 4595. California. Right now. Yeah. Well, guys, um, we're coming here to the end. And I wanted to say this has been a really probably the best live stream that we've done with regards to how many people that are participating, which is fantastic. Um, that's probably the most important thing is to get as many people as we can uh, this type of help. Um, I hope that you know you guys were able to stick around for as much as you could of the live stream um, to get as mon as many tips as I possibly could share. Because again, like I need you guys to be, you know, in a really good mindset about all this. Um, all right, Randall, we've got you a connection, okay? So be keeping an eye out from 800, 300, 5616. So yeah, hoping you guys can, you know, keep a, a strong and positive mindset about this, right? Like you've got 10 more callbacks. If this first call doesn't work, use the callbacks, request another one, press yes to those text messages that they send you. Keep trying over the next two days to literally reach an agent. Um, again, you know, we talked about this, Linda, you are up. Um, <laughs> like I really encourage you guys to reach out to your assemblymen right away. Like get it's, it's working. Like they are, it used to be that they weren't helping all that much that completely changed over the last two weeks. So again, I really encourage you to, to reach out to that resource guys. I'm telling you like, you know, in the past, 
there wasn't much you could do in terms of getting your claims fixed because the only real option around was, I wouldn't even say it was a real option. I mean, you could always contact your, your, legis, uh, your assemblymen, but you really had no ability to call. Um, you had no ability to reach an actual EDD agent because the phone lines have always been so crazy. And guys, the phone lines have been crazy back before the pandemic started. This goes back even before 2013. EDD's phone lines have always been jam packed. Like it's been very, very, very hard to get through. Um, so, you know, now you guys know that there's an option like this out here, um, you know, like Claimer and whether or not you choose to use it, that's totally fine. Um, you know, just being aware that you guys have these resources, um, your assemblymen, you know, calling, using Claimer, um, you know, gosh, like, this lawsuit that just came out. I mean, there's there's just a lot of good news that, that's come out over the last, um, you know, two weeks particularly. And, you know, you guys don't have to sit around and wait anymore, which is a really great place to be, finally. Um, that wasn't here right at the, at the beginning of the pandemic. It hasn't been over the last six months. It's been very, very difficult, I know that. But all that's changing. And what's really important is that we guys, we get you guys your back pay that you're owed. We get you up to current for what you currently, you know, are supposed to get every week. Um, you know, and, and if there's any backdated, you know, claims that need to be done, we work through all that good stuff too. All right, Linda, let me know if you got a text message, okay? All right, so I'm going to try this one more time on the live stream for Imgard and Terry. Let me catch up on chats really quick. Randall writes, awesome, just got the text. Thank you, Randall, for confirming. Uh, May P. May P. I don't know if I sent you. What's your? What's the name that you sent me on your, your email? Jaslyn, thank you so much. Receive the text. They're out for lunch until 1 p.m. Yeah. So um, that's one thing too, guys. They do close down for lunch Monday through Friday. Uh, maybe also on Saturday and Sunday uh, from 12 to 1. Claimer will send you a text stating that you know they're out to lunch, but they'll call you as soon as they will call, start calling at 1 p.m. again, okay? So don't worry about it, right? These calls I just placed in the last like half hour, um, you guys are still gonna get your callbacks, but just be patient, okay? Claimer works, it's an automated setup. So if you have any trouble, you can show up to the live stream tomorrow or you can email me or you can drop some comments on the YouTube channel. That always works too. Um, let's see, LNV, thank you, I'll be there. Yeah, for sure. Um, Todd writes, you only need to respond to the text after the call if you'd like a free callback. Yep, that's good stuff. Okay, Linda, thanks you for, thank you for confirming that you got a text message. Okay, so Terry, let me get you set up here, and then I'm gonna try one last time on the live stream for Imgard because, well, hopefully third time's a charm. So let's see, five, six, two. Seven, one, zero, eight, six, awesome. Okay, Terry, hopefully that number, the new number that you emailed over, that'll work. Um, give me just a sec, I'm gonna check something for Imgard here. I can't believe I've missed it three times, but it's possible. All right. Okay, so I've got this for you, Imgard, as three two three six oh eight nine six eight five okay let's do it three two three six oh eight nine six eight five okay i'm selecting california here
Okay, MGuard, I think I got that sent over to you. Hopefully that went through properly this time. All right, guys. Let's take a look here at the comments and kind of begin wrapping this up. Um, hmm. Yeah, thanks, Jaslyn, for answering that. Um, LNV, um, what I'd ask is this. So, guys, like I said, I'll be doing a, another announcement on the live stream. Um, I'll just put it up in the YouTube channel, and you'll see there's a countdown. It'll be going off tomorrow from 8.30. I'm probably going to keep it to just two and a half hours tomorrow. Um, so it'll be... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to shut it off at 11. Um, but either way, come into the live stream tomorrow. Uh, if you sent me your email, just check into the live stream tomorrow and I'll get you that call set up just like I did for everybody else. Okay. Um, at a certain point, I do have to cut off the calls just because, you know, I do have to get on with my day a little bit. But um, yeah, we'll get you taken care of tomorrow. Terry writes, got that text that fast. Awesome. I'm so sorry, Terry, that we got that incorrect for you the first time. Delana writes, yeah, you can't even leave a message with the assemblyman at that point. I'm going to be homeless before I get any money. And I also have severe head injury. So yeah, Delena and everyone, I, I really think though, we ought to be pretty optimistic here. Um, you know, between the assemblyman options, which some assemblymen and women do, you know, better jobs than others, right? Um, if you have been paid one week in your claim in the past, your EDD claim, depending on, and it doesn't matter if you got a FedEd, a regular UI, a PUA, a PEUC, whatever those claims, you know, that you're on, if you've been paid one week or more, and you've been pending for two weeks or more. They have a commitment, EDD has a commitment, you know, as a result of this lawsuit, that they will pay these claims out by September 30th or sooner. Now, this was just started out here on last Friday on the 23rd. If you guys fall in that criteria, they will be paying you out very quickly in my estimation. Okay, now there's some of you that might fall through the cracks or some of you that might not meet their criteria, but they're gonna be paying people out in batches. Right. So, you know, once they kind of line these batches up, boom, a lot of people are just going to wake up and see oh, a bunch of money in their account, which is fantastic. So, you know, guys, keep some hope. If you find yourself you're in that situation, you know, that's going to help you. If you find that you're not in that situation, you know, you've got some other great tools. You've got this calling option. You've got your assemblyman option. Um, you know, you guys can come on and potentially do an interview with me on the channel and, you know, we can get some traction for your claim, get some of the news you know, that would take a look at this and maybe they want to do an interview after you interview with me. I mean, there's a lot of different ways we can help you guys out, okay? We just got to be creative, all right? Let's see what the chat has to say. Okay, Imgard writes, thank you, got the chat on the text. Okay, you're so welcome. You're so welcome, guys. All right, um, guys, yeah, so we've been cranking on this for about three hours. I wanted to thank you so much for all the time today and all the patience. I know uh, this went a little bit longer than we had originally planned, but, you know, this is... This is part of how it works, okay, guys? Like, not just the live stream, but, you know, you guys see that, you know, calling uh, takes time um, in terms of being on hold. Uh, you see that the disconnects are, are very real. But, you know, again, let's kind of just maybe break down, like, the big, big takeaways today. Um, the big takeaways that I think everybody really needs to be aware of is that, you know, there are these hold times and there are these disconnects. So I recommend that, you know, you just walk in and know the disconnects are going to happen. Um, and not get frustrated by those. I want you to press nine about every 10 minutes once you get connected. That seems to help. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Um, the next thing is that if you do reach an agent, I really encourage you to build a relationship with that agent. You know, be kind, be friendly. Um, you know, right off the bat, thank them for what they're doing. Ask them how their day's going, you know. Try and get their first name. Take notes, guys, on what they're telling you. You gotta find out what's going on with your claim. You really do, because you might need to call multiple times. So that's the next thing. Once you reach an agent and if you're friendly and all this and they tell you like, hey, you just have to wait 14 weeks for your, your phone interview. I don't, I don't buy that. Anybody that tells me I need to wait that long, you know, like that's ridiculous. It's, I just need to find somebody who works in the EDD system, who has the skills and the training to look at my claim, is willing to help me, is having a good day because I built a relationship with them that is willing to go that extra mile, right? And actually help me over the phone. You might have to reach three to four different agents in order to make that happen. So that's kind of the big takeaway there in terms of how the agents work. You've got to reach multiple agents. Don't just listen to the first person that says, yep, nothing you can do, you just got to wait. You guys have 10 more callbacks. Contact another agent, please, please do. You'll find that someone can help you. Trust me, like this is how it works. Um, 
The other thing is that, you know, if you need to reach a, a tier two agent, like this is what's really important is that you guys need to call as many times as you need to, to find out that a tier one agent can't fix your claim, you know? And if a tier one agent can't fix your claim, you know that you're gonna be on hold for a long time trying to reach a tier two agent. And that there's a lot of disconnects between a tier one and a tier two agent. So, you know, having those 10 callbacks, using something like Claimer really helps. Now, if you do find out that you need a tier two agent, I do recommend, of course you call, but I also highly recommend that you're contacting your assemblyman right away right away guys and i put that in the in the in the chat box here how to contact your uh how to find your 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 assemblyman and you know reach out to them immediately if you've got a tier one situation sorry a tier two you know customer specialist on edd side that needs to fix your claim the assemblyman is also going to be a very viable resource to get that fixed as well um you know aside from that it's all about building a relationship it's all about having enough time to be able to call, to be on hold. It's all about having the right mindset, right? To, you know, deal with the fact that EDD's phone system is gonna drop you, unfortunately, and that all the agents aren't super great, super friendly, super knowledgeable, but some really are. Some are miracle workers and, you know, you might get lucky. Um, and if you just keep trying, you will not just get lucky, like you will get the results that you want. So those are my recommendations. I hope those are, you know, some, some clear takeaways. The last thing I want to mention too, is if you guys are confused um, on the claimer callbacks, just read those text messages very carefully. You have 10 more callbacks over the next 48 hours. Okay. Um, press yes to get a callback. I recommend that you, if you know that you need to reach a tier two rep, I recommend that you don't request a callback after 4 p.m while EDD is open, okay? Because they're gonna go home by around five or six and you're gonna be on hold till 7.30, eight o'clock waiting for a tier two rep and there's nobody there. So if you need to reach a tier two rep and you find that out, don't press yes after you know four o'clock, wait until EDD closes in the evening, okay? And request a call back by replying yes around 8.30 p.m. And then that way, claimers calling first thing for you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., okay? So hopefully that explains that. All right, let's take a look last minute at the chats. Um, Delana writes, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sound negative. Sometimes pain does that to you. Delana, I totally hear you. I, uh, yeah, I hear you on pain for sure. LNV, I appreciate the help you're giving. Thank you so much. Also love the posters in the back. Yeah, yeah. We've got some Daft Punk, you know, good, happy music in the back for sure. All right, guys. Well, look, um, we're here at time. Thank you so much. Um, please, for all of you that got callbacks, please, like I said, jump on the actual live stream uh, comment section that's going to be up there and kind of give us updates on how that worked for you. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. And yeah, I love it. Thanks, guys. We'll talk soon.